Hello! Let's play some Stardew Valley. Let's just get straight into it. What the fuck? Why not? Come on. I need to get to winter. I <laughs> can't wait. Look how much money I've got! Oh, oh, it's gonna be good. Let me turn that music off. Adventures of Burly Lillen. Back off. Come on. Coffee. I want coffee. No, 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 no. <laughs> I want to get into it. Come on. Before I change my mind. Why does it take so long? <laughs> Hello. Welcome in. How you doing? Happy Sunday. <laughs> so loud. I'm pumped up. I'm hyped. I want to play some Stardew Valley. I want to farm. I'm making money. It's taking so long to load. I don't get why. It's all the coffee. I should probably load, start loading the game before I start streaming, to be honest. I haven't really thought about that in the past. You never used to take this long to load. Did it? You're doing great. I'm great too. I'm glad you're doing great. That's really great. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. The spirits are mildly perturbed. I don't care. Because I'm going to do some... Ah, oh, here we go. Thanks for visiting Pierre's. Enclosed is your cashback rewards pro... Wait, what? 200... Wait, Pierre just gave me money? Oh, nice. Pierre just gave me money, so I like him now. Start the day up with a bit of money. Are my pumpkins done? Oh, they're not quite. Oh, they're not quite. That's a little bit annoying. They're not quite there yet. Look at all the grass on there. <laughs> look at all the grass. Oh, yes. Oh, look, we've got some more oak resin. We can make another keg. Oh, it's all coming together. Let's sort the chickens out. Right. It's 7 a.m. Oh, the chickens and the ducks. I forgot about the ducks. I forgot about the door. I forgot about all of this. It's as if yesterday just didn't happen. Seems so energized. Give me some. <laughs> I haven't got out of bed yet. <laughs> Sorry. I need it. You can stay in bed all day. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. The shed. Let's sort this out. If anyone tells you you can't stay in bed all day, tell them to shut up. Because they're wrong. Listen, if I could stream while I was in bed, I would do. But I, it's kind of hard. Believe me, I've tried. In fact, I used to stream well, back when I didn't have a, a chair. I used to stream on my laptop. And I used to like lay on my bed while I streamed. <laughs> I've got amethyst to give to Abigail as well. Okay, good. Eggplant's got coffee. Okay. I think, egg, right, coffee. We need to sort that out, don't we? Uh, I need to build another keg as well. Sounds like you need a froppy, yeah. Sounds like we all need a froppy on this Sunday. <laughs> hello out with, by the way. Welcome in. And Wonderland, hello. How are you? Let's check this out. Put it, go back. Let's, Let's hear it in the track. the track. Let's do it. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll fish for bears, we'll fish for crappy. And we don't care, we'll have a McDonald's shoppy. Everything's right, except for bye. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. There you go. In other words, we'll have a McDonald's shoppy. <laughs> so stupid. I love it. Um... Thanks for that. <laughs> I'm good, how are you? I'm good as well, thank you. I'm hyped up. I want to <laughs> look at all this coffee. <laughs> oh, I'm so into this now. Thanks for popping into my stream yesterday. Oh, it was an absolutely wonderful time. I was going to say an absolute... I don't know what I was going to say, but I just stopped at a weird time. Um, yeah, it was lovely. Uh, let me give you a shout out. Here we go. Let's Let's watch this. 
Um, yeah, if you like, especially the... Are you you playing a lot of The Witcher lately, right? In particular, the... Uh, am I right in saying the, the Gwent? Which, um... I'm going to be brutally honest with you, okay? I know nothing about The Witcher. I haven't played it. It's not my sort of game, really. I don't know a lot about Gwent either, but despite all that, it was a lovely time. <laughs> Even though I had no idea what was happening, it was nice. And I like that. That's a sign of a good stream. <laughs> Starbucks coffee at McDonald's prices. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's actually what we're using the... That's what we're making with the... Uh... Oh, I need more tappers, look. That's what we're making with these uh, with these trees. Oh my god, I need loads of tappers. Why can't I put one there? I can put one there. I can't put one there, though. Oh, it's already got one. Nice, I need to make more. Um, possibly need more copper. I might need to uh, go down the mines at some point. A lot of Gwent. Oh, yeah, I mean Witcher, yeah. I think my dad played Witcher, but just played Gwent. It's quite good that there's a game inside the game that, like, people love. I think that's really good. Okay, wait, hang on. I need to sell that and that as well. Um... Glad you enjoyed if if you didn't know about Witcher, but at the moment I'm maining that DVD in Hollow Knight. Oh, nice! Um, I have never played any of those games. I have DVD, thinking that I was going to play it, and then I, without looking at the gameplay of it, and then I went, oh, I don't know about this, actually. I don't mind watching. I like watching people play it, though. Um, I actually, I'll give a shout out to Snorbuckle, who is also uh, playing um, DVD and Hollow Knight, and also, um, is it Psychonaut? Yeah, Psychonauts 2. But I think he's about to finish that. Snorbuckle is lovely. Uh, if you don't follow Snorbuckle, I urge you to reconsider that position because you're missing out. Uh, hello, Lane. How are you? Welcome in. Really admire you because I cannot play Stardew, but love watching others play it. I, I get that, yeah. I I'm definitely like that with some games. Um... Definitely. There's some games that like I love watching, but like God, I wouldn't play them myself. All right, let's just put some of this down. Nice. Okay. Uh, when you reach ninja levels of streaming, you'll have to bring out a frothy range of coffee. Oh, I'd love that. Oh, it'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? A whole coffee range. Oh, wouldn't that be amazing? Found out if you befriend the wizard, you can change your appearance. Oh, nice. I didn't know that. That's pretty good. I wanted to change my appearance, but I'm at the point now where I'm just, like, fine with it. I I have my um, character has cornrows, and I don't like that it's by accident. Um, oh, my, oh, my God. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. <laughs> Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Um, hi, how's it going? Oh, hello, Nightlights, and Hoops as well. Let everyone say a look. Good morning. How are you all doing? It's all having a good day, yeah, it's on a nice Sunday. I hope. Because if not... Okay, we need to give this amethyst to um what's her face? Abigail. Right. I need to shave, but that's a real life thing. So <laughs> I'll do that off stream. You just open out wild and it worked first time. <laughs> Oh no! Oh fuck me! That scared the shit out of me. Oh, I can't give her a gift. Oh mate! Oh mate! Oh mate! 
I can't believe that. Was it just, was it a Windows update thing, do you reckon? Or, duh. For those who don't know, uh, Nightlights was trying to play um, Outer Wilds yesterday on stream. And the main, it, it, there was this bug where like the main menu just wouldn't show up. And loads of people have had this bug, and we didn't know how to fix it. And he had to end up playing something else, and then his stream broke, and it was just a lot of unfortunate events. Um, so <laughs> he was staring at this. <laughs> he was staring at this background. It's just like a picture of space for like ten minutes. Going, is this just the game? Is this like the intro? You've just got to stare at space for ten minutes. <laughs> I was proper creasing. I felt bad as well because, like, oh, you'd said you'd have a bit of a, a bit of a day, and I was like, oh no, but fuck me. It was um, <laughs> oh, oh, right. Let me plant some more of these. Nice. Um. All moved in, so it's box apocalypse today. Oh, lovely. Oh, you know what, though? When it's all sorted out. What a feeling. What a feeling. You know that one? Wasn't that using, like, a Gaviscon advert or something like that? <laughs> Gaviscon. Gaviscon. Right. I'm going to keep the wood in there for now. Um... I need more oak resin. Which I just get through oak trees. I could buy some more of that fertilizer. Um, nice one though, hoops. The hard part is done, I'd say. I mean, I don't know. That's that's subjective, but that's what I'd say. Um, Having the controller plugged in when you first open it. Apparently redistributables don't download when it's plugged in on first open. I feel like there should be a sign somewhere that mentions that. Oh shit, the shop's shut. You know what I mean? I feel like it should say that somewhere. You know? It was good for in the end. You and Jamie had me laughing. I'm glad. I'm glad it wasn't just because I've I've definitely had streams where it's just tech issues and that's it, and it's not fun. Uh, in fact, it's a big heap of shit. Um, yeah, hate that. So I'm glad that like it all turned out okay-ish. You know, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just running about. Unpack most of the essentials. We were lucky to already have a working modem. Oh, you lucky bastard. <laughs> That's very lucky. Um, you know what? Let's just fucking do this. Right. Give a shout out to Nightlights. If anyone's not following Nightlights, everyone just follow everyone. Everyone just follow everyone. All right, right now, do it. What a feeling. <laughs> Just follow everyone. Who cares? Before you do the shout out, oh, oh, you can download it yourself if you want. Hang on a second. It's just a really simple little browser source. You give me one moment. Um, I think there is a command for it. Check out that link there. It is a tiny bit buggy, but very rarely. And the bugs are almost always fixed by... You'll either have to reset the token, which you have to do like once a month or something like that. Or just refreshing the, um, the cache of the browser source. And like that's it. It'll fit. other than that, it's like perfect. And you can you can choose the little animation and the colours and stuff like that. It's really good. It's really good. 
big shout out to those eyes for making that because it's fantastic. I have to do shopping and taxes today. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, mate. I'm sorry to hear that. I need taxes. The taxes! <laughs> what was it in The Simpsons? The finger thing it means the taxes. <laughs> oh, she means the taxes. <laughs> and she's going like that. At least in <laughs> oh. Vipage is trying to sleep. Bark is trying to sleep. Mare is trying to sleep. Chip is trying to sleep. Okay, well, that's fine. Lisa needs braces. Dental plan. Dental plan. I need some, like, really... I need some fertilizer for those trees there because they're taking ages to grow. What a feeling. It's tree fertilizer, I think, as well, isn't it? Right. That's enough for one day. We made some money. Oh, I should have gone back into the shed and made more coffee, shouldn't I? Shit. It's fine. So we'll get through fall today, and we'll probably get, like, a, a week into winter, possibly. And then tomorrow, probably finish year two, hopefully, at a stretch, maybe pushing it a little bit. I don't know. Possibly. Ideally. Because then I, I think I'm getting through... I mean, how many... So there's four seasons, each made up of four weeks. So there's 16 weeks in the game. I think I'm getting through, like, three weeks per stream. So it's taking me, like, rough... Well, roughly. So it's taking me, like, five or six streams to complete one year. Which is about right, I think. Maybe a little bit more than that. Right, coffee. What a feeling. Oh, what's that? It's Penny's handwriting. I want to get everyone something I love. Mum, parsnip, glazed yams. No. I just clicked off it back to them. Well, that's fine. I can check it later. I just didn't mean to do that. I'm going to have that in my head today. That's today's song. I'm going to have in my head, everyone. Go for Brecky. Have good Brecky, mate. Um, yeah. Please. Please. For me. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, we've got a couple of these tappers. Um... So we'll do that. We'll get all these oak resins from these. Um, I need the tree... The tree thing. The tree fertilizer thing. At some point as well. Let me grab these pine cones as well and just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All over the place. Too close to a fruit tree. Okay. Nice. The tree -talizer. Yeah, that's the one. Pumpkins are still not grown yet. They've got to be close. I need pumpkins. I need five gold pumpkins. Gold rated pumpkins. Um, my thing for the community center. Okay, there's another acorn there actually. I could plant that down here. I'm probably okay for the amount of oak trees I've got now actually. I think the amount of resin I'm going to get for them will uh, probably be okay. They they'll grow over the course of well may maybe you know I don't know. I don't know. We could probably get rid of the tappers off them after a while, actually, and start putting them on the maple ones instead. Make some, like, maple syrup or something. So. I would train... Oh, shit. I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? Can't 
kind of. I've gone like a very stupid way around for this. Would have been easier to go back. In fact, can you even get to it through here? I don't think you can, can you? I think I'm like in completely the wrong place. Or not. No, you can go up here, can't you? Well, that wasn't really worth it, but we got something out of it, I guess. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. That was a horrible noise. What a feeling. <laughs> Why is that in my head? Was it, it was, Ga was it Gaviscon? Was the advert Gaviscon? It was, wasn't it? Surely. With the with the little firemen. But they weren't firemen because they were just liquid. But they were shaped like firemen. Does this count as a weak? Oh, look. You're the best, Roger P. Oh, yeah. Still three stars. Um, not the best. Okay, let's get some... Um, it was a tree one. It's not a speed grow. Oh shit, don't you make it yourself? Oh fuck, you make it yourself, don't you? I could get some speed grow. Yeah, you make it yourself with um, fiber, don't you? It's my fault. It's my fault, everyone. See, I, I remember these things. I mean, I forget them, but then I remember them, so it's okay. Let's check this out. Let's oh, you know back. what, Carver? Let's we'll hear it, it in, in the, the track. track. Yeah, let's do it. We don't care. We'll have Mac on the topic. There you go. In other words, it speaks for itself, really. Eh, it speaks for itself, really, I'd say. Carver, hello. Happy Sunday. How are you? How are you? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good morning. Nice. I'm good. I don't know why I said nice to that. I'm a bit all over the place. I'm good. Are you? I'm good as well, thanks. Yeah. I'm having a good day. The double froppy Sunday, yeah. <laughs> That's what they're calling it. Right. Do that. I still need the tappers for these. Right, we're going to go down the mine. Keep reading Kara as wrong with server. Might be an Irish thing. Isn't, isn't... Am I right in saying that S-A-R-A -S is pronounced Sarah? Especially in... I don't know. I could be talking proper shit here. And I probably am, so... Apologies. Right. Oh, I've got loads of the tree fertilizer. I didn't realize I still had some. Shit. Everything's right except the bite. Kara. Yeah, but Americans are weird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're just like that, aren't they? Any Americans watching? Hi. Love you. <laughs> it's also an Irish word. There you go. Bark. 
Hello. Guten Morgen, which is Irish for hello. If anyone didn't know that. Hello. See, I said Guten Morgen and Bark knew what I meant. Everything's right except the bite. Right, okay. Specifically looking for copper ore. Really. There wasn't really any there. Very good. Thanks. I've been doing a lot of learning. About unrelated things. But I thought, you know what? I'll give that one a go. And I did. And it went fantastically. So. I mean, I could just buy copper ore. It'd be kind of a... Well, I don't want to do that again. I also don't want to die, so... We do, do we actually have a good morning? The usual greeting is, I'm not going to try and pronounce it, which means God be with you. Oh, right. Uh, again, Bark, I won't even try and pronounce that, because, like, I, I know, I would try and pronounce it if I thought there was a chance that I'd get it right, but I know there's not. So I just don't, I just think it's best if I don't do that, you know? Am I going to fucking die in here? I mean, I might have to have this pomegranate. I really want to buy the game, so I got a refund on another game, and the funds are taking forever to appear back in my Steam wallet. Oh. I've never had... I don't think I've ever refunded a game on Steam, you know. I think I tried to once, but they said I played it for too long. Because they've got like a... You know, you've got to have it for at least... You, if you've had it for over two weeks, or you've played it for over two hours, you can't refund it. Or something stupid like that. So I had this weird thing where, like, I I had a th I bought a game and I didn't realise it was broken until like a lot at further after two hours, and I was like, right, well, I want this refunded, and they went, no, you can't do it because you played it longer than two hours. Basically, what it's telling um, game devs is, as long as your game isn't completely broken for the first two hours of gameplay, you're fine, right? I need to actually. Um, leave this place, because I'm about to die. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Should I be home to my bank account? I think that might have taken just as long, to be honest. I don't know. What game is it that you um, refunded? Just out of interest. You don't have to say if you don't want to, of course. Let's go to the quarry. Uh, hello, Sparrow. I'm good, thanks. How are you doing? Welcome in. Oh, look. Copper. Any more? No. Um, It will have, but at least I get the money back to my account. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh, Icarus. It's not released yet. Oh. Can I just ask... Oh, did you just get it refunded because you just wanted to buy... Oh, Satisfactory. Um, Have you played that before? Nerd Matron played Satisfactory and had an incredible time with it. Um... I didn't see much of the gameplay, to be perfectly honest with you, but, I mean, if Nermatron likes a game, it's probably quite good. You've wanted it for so many years. Oh, I hope you enjoy it. I'm sh I think it'd be the sort of game that you'd like, from what I know about it, at least. Oh, yeah. I hope, um, I hope it's good. Right, I think I just might need to go to bed now. Factorio? Oh, yeah, I know that one as well. 
sort of, very slightly. Um, I could smelt there actually. Oh, a cave carrot. We need that. We need the cave carrot to give to Marnie. So we'll hold on to that as well. Right, that's another productive day wrapped up. I have a suggestion for a game. Go for it. Let's bet. Let's see if I've heard of it or not. <laughs> it's called Raft. I have Raft on my wish list. I have seen a playthrough of it. Um, wait, am I thinking of the same game? Is it the one where you're literally just stuck on a raft and you have to like beat away sharks and stuff like that? And it's multiplayer, but you can also play it single player. It's on my wish list. Um, there was a time when I really wanted to play that. Um, and then I sort of just thought, I don't know how much I don't know how much I get out of it, but possibly. Um, how much does it go for these days? $20, 11 quid, 10 quid. Hmm. I mean, they might have updated it since then. So I possibly, I'll have a think about it. Yeah, I, can, I sort of forgot about that game. It was one of the first games that I ever put on my Steam. Well, when I found out what a Steam wish list was, which was admittedly like only about three years ago, um, it was one of the first games on there. So um, yeah, it's literally third on my Steam wish list, um, underneath a game called Storage Kings, which is basically just a computer game. A computer game. Why did I say that? A like a, a game version of. Do you know Storage Wars or Storage Hunters? The TV shows that are on, like, is it the History Channel? Where you just buy, like, an old garage and then it's got all crap in it and you, like, sell it off and stuff like that. Uh, which is has been coming soon for about two years now. And also a game called <laughs> Dog Trainer, which um, has a release date of TBA, but it's basically, it looks a bit like Nintendogs, but, like, on the PC. Possibly. The auction one, yes. Yeah. I, so it sounds like my kind of game, actually. If it's executed well, which you never know. But they're taking a long time over it. So, yeah. I'll, I might give it a go, yeah, sometime, Cara. Um, yeah, I'll have, I'll have a good think about that one. I'll have a look through my wish list because I haven't looked through it in ages. There'll be games on there that I just haven't even really paid attention to in a while. Um, sorry, I've missed some chat. Hope it's okay to ask, but just curious. Do you stream full time? I do. Yeah, um, that's fine. You can ask that. Um, yeah, I do. <laughs> I didn't mean to. It wasn't like a long term plan where I was just like, yeah, I'm going to do this. But it was sort of just like because of the pandemic and stuff like that. Everything just sort of like because it, it was really difficult to find work and stuff. And I was streaming at the time. Um and I was on Universal Credit. Well, I still am, actually. Because um, I was on Universal Credit. And I said to my work coach, if I make, like, a one-off... If I get a one-off payment from Twitch, like, my first payout, how do I report that? And she said, there's a bit on the website. She said she said this. I remember this. There's a bit on the website where you can report a one-off payment, right? And I went, oh, okay, that's fine. So a couple of months later, I got my first payout. And... I couldn't find this bit. So I put in my little journal thing. For those who are on Universal Credit, you know, like the little journal on the um, on the website. And I, I typed in and I said, like, look, I can't find this one-off payment thing. How do I do it? And I got a reply saying, you click on this and you click on this and you click on that. And I went, okay, did all that, did all that. Reported my thing. And then um, at that point, that is when they classed me as being self-employed. And I was like, Oh, so I sort of got thrown into it. Like they, they just assumed that was my self-employment. And I was like, well, if it does become like regular payments, I guess I could do it. But it didn't become regular until like near the end of last year. Um, I went into far too much detail then. Yes, I do it full time. <laughs> That's all you asked. Yeah. Yeah. 
but it was sort of by accident. Through the incompetence of the Department for Work and Pensions. Yeah. Um, you like that show, but about half reckons it's all staged, hates it. I don't know if it's staged. I think a, a, a lot of shows are like that, where like, it's a bit like that, isn't it? Where there's like the staged bits and stuff like that. I don't think it's all staged. I do think some of it is, but like, it's entertainment. You know, it's entertainment. Who cares? It's like uh, those kitchen nightmares and stuff like that or whatever. Um, half of that shit, most of that thing is staged, but like, it's a good watch. Well, I don't really like it, but I did it at one, one point. It's, you know what I mean? I don't think, think because, like, <laughs> not allowed. <laughs> You're banned from watching porn stars. Porn stars is, um, as, yeah, I was going to mention that. That's probably a similar thing where, like, um, quite a bit of it is. I think they found out. I think that is, like, common knowledge that porn stars is quite staged. Not all the time, but quite a bit of it is. Um, but it's fun to watch. So you're only allowed to watch um, non-fiction things then. <laughs> you, <laughs> you're not allowed to watch Squid Game because it's staged. <laughs> you're not allowed to watch Star Wars because it's staged. None of that actually happened. It was all It's all acting. Um, yeah, <laughs> still good to watch. Exactly. Um, that's awesome. But I have an even more important question. The giant teddy bear in the background, um, who is looking a little worse for wear at the moment. I'll be honest. Um, do they have a name? Yes. His name is, if you can believe it, a big bear. Speaks for itself, really, doesn't it? <laughs> His name is big bear. Um, yeah, he wears my hats. That's that's his job. <laughs> he wears my hats, so I don't have to put my hats away. Um, and then at night he sits in this chair and keeps it warm. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Yeah, I hope that answered your question. He's old. He used to have a bow tie and it fell off. He also once split open, um, but a quick bit of surgery fixed him right up. Let me just. Uh... Oh, shit. I mean, he looked a little bit better now. Yeah, there you go. A little bright, isn't it? Sorry. DWP incompetent? Surely not. Yeah, can you believe it? Fucking crazy. So, when I have my... Um, when I have my... Uh, what's it called? Like, gateway interview last month. To, for, for them to like figure out if I'm gainfully self-employed, which basically means they think that I could make enough money from it to like eventually come off universal credit. The um, they said, uh, so when did the when did you get classed as being self-employed? And I was like, well, there's three different options for it because there's the first option which was um, in April, which is when I got my first payment and it, it told me I was self-employed. Then there was another one in September of last year where they said, right, we're switching your work coach now. And then there's also one in November where they said, right, you're self-employed now. And he just looked at me like, yeah, <laughs> it's like that. It's really shit. Like... It's just so poorly managed, you know. What's the t-shirt say? It says, pay up or I'll beat you up. Hope that answered your question. I mean, it literally answered your question. It says, pay up or I'll beat you up. It's a good one. You love it? It's good, isn't it? I got it from that website, QWERTY, which was, it turns out, like, well, I bought a few shirts from it, and I was like, oh, this is really good, this. And then I found out later on that, like, 
the artists that they the artists can upload their web their designs to that website. Then people vote on which ones get printed and sold and stuff like that. But like the artists barely get any sort of like compensation for it, and I didn't know that until afterwards, so I stopped using it. Which is kind of shit. I mean, I literally, I don't even know who. I don't even know who um, drew this, who designed this. I have no idea. It just doesn't tell you. Or it does tell you, but it's quite like hidden away, possibly. Because I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Let's grow some apples, actually. Not grow apples. Let's make some apple jam. Apple sauce. Apple sauce. Okay. Nice. Um, I'll hold on to them. Oh, eggs. Shit. Eggs. All right. Nice. A fancy frost punk. What's that? <laughs> I know that also answers your question, but. I assume that's a game. It sounds like a game. Um, wait. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, Marnie might like it. I think I do. I need to give that. Oh no, I already did that. Yeah, I might give it to Marnie. I've got to give Marnie the cave cam at first, though. City builder. I'm interested. <laughs> I'm interested. Immediately. Um, you say city builder, I say... Gimme. <laughs> I want it. You know me. I like my city builders. I might have to take a look at it. Is it new? Where's the tappers? Oh, we need more wood. Oh, shit. Go back to the uh, chest and get some. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to take a look at that. To be created, yeah. To be created. Pick up a software, but we don't want to Mobile choice and city builder. Let's take a look. Quite often. Oh, I... 70%. Oh, wait, there's a Frostpunk 2. TBA. Hmm. Let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at the, uh, oh my god. Look at that UI. First society survival game is the ruler of the last city on Earth. The duty to manage both its citizens and infrastructure. What decisions will you make to ensure your society's survival? Maybe. I'm looking at screenshots of it and... Honestly, I'm not sure if it's my kind of vibe. Just from screenshots, like the aesthetic of it. There was a game, I don't know who, I don't know what game it was called now. I like city builds and stuff like that, but I like more sort of... Um, I guess realistic ones, if that makes sense. I mean, City Skylines was like a proper sort of simulator kind of thing. There was another one that... Shit, I'm going to have to fucking Google it now. Um, I was watching someone play it. Um, if I go to this website and search for games... I can't remember what the game was. It was... 
Um, not any of that. Was it banished? Banished? Possibly. Um, yeah. Have you seen Banished? Have I tried playing Genshin? I have not, no. Um, I think... Isn't that the free one? I think I've uh, got it, but I don't think it's my thing, to be honest. Um, Pro Letty Betty. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Um, that's a similarly bleak theme. Yeah. The thing I like about Banished is that... I don't know what... I don't know how to word it. It sort of... It's, it looks more realistic, if that makes sense. Like... That. Um, I get a sort of Age of Empires kind of vibe from that. And apparently it's quite moddable. Um, I don't know if I'd give it a go or not, but possibly. I mean, I like I like watching it. I'd probably have to look at gameplay of Frostpunk. To be fair, I think looking at screenshots um, probably doesn't give the full story. But I like it. I think the UI as well was looking a bit overwhelming. Whereas on I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it looks very gamey, the the Frostpunk UI. I don't know if that makes sense. It's got like that modern, futuristic sort of look to it. I probably prefer the older sort of things. Like, I really liked Age of Empires when I... I mean, I was terrible at it, but I liked it. Um... Yeah, I've not. I don't know much about the theme of it or anything though, so I'd have to look into it a bit. It's something to think about anyway. Um, got all banished. Sips got me into that. I didn't know Sips played it. I was watching Booth play it. Um, I didn't know Sips played it though. Oh, Booth was playing it. It looked quite good. But I think she modded it quite a bit. Age of Empires was class. Age of Empires was very good. Um, it was just a shame I was absolutely atrocious at it. Yeah, I was really bad at Age of Empires. Uh, Abigail! Oh, yeah. Can I just keep giving it amethysts? Oh, look, four stars! I need to stretch my legs and get some fresh air today. Oh yeah. Um, but Genshin? No, I've 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 seen Genshin. I've watched people play Genshin. Um, I think there was one point when I mixed it up with another game. <laughs> um, someone once went, "Have you played Genshin?" And I was like, "No, but I want to. It looks quite good." And then I realised later on. Uh, mm, I was mixing it up with something completely different. The name of which I can't remember right now. Go is it is it Ghost of Tsushima or something like that? I don't know how I mix them up. But yeah. Um hold on a second everyone. Give me one wee mo. Okay, sorry. Right, sorry. Uh, you bought the cave carrot. Thank you so much, Mr. Roger P. No problem. Just put it on the floor then. It's fine. It's great. I almost want to eat it myself. Sorry, I'm really... What? <laughs> almost. Hope it wasn't too much trouble. I really do appreciate it. Cactus, good morning. How are you? Welcome in. Oh, wait. Can I give her the duck feather now? 
thank you. This looks nice. Thanks again for helping me out. Yeah, no problem. Um, oh, you know what I need to do? Not purchase animals. I can get rabbits. Why does Marnie's house look, sound like a medieval tavern? Marnie is dressed like... A, I don't know what it is. I don't know what the outfit is, but it always reminds me of a jester. I don't know if anyone else gets that. Having a coffee? Got to prepare for some Thanksgiving turkey and pies later. Can't wait. Oh, nice. Wait, when's Thanksgiving? We obviously don't do that here. Um, isn't it November? It's like mid to late November, like the 23rd, but like it changes every year. I don't... Oh, it's... T oh, in Canada. I didn't know they had one in Canada. Um, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Canadian Thanksgiving. Um, I'm not sure what the difference is, to be honest, but I hope it's a good day. Have a good turkey and pie. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, I do like a serious game every so often. Yeah. Very... Very occasionally, I like a serious game. Um, most of the time, I like a game that I can laugh at. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Uh, Pip, good morning. How are you? Welcome in. How's it going? I'm going to get some rabbits, everyone. It's rabbit time. Rabbits can't live there. Well, okay. Gromello. <laughs> Who wants to be a rabbit? <laughs> it's like, who wants to be a millionaire? But the questions are just about, like, carrots and stuff. I don't know. I'm okay. How are you? I'm <laughs> good. Thanks. I'm, I'm glad you're, you're doing well. You do? Aren't you already a duck? Unless we just want to be, like, multiple things. Thumper? Name it Thumper. Cactus, you've not got one, so I'll do that. Sure. I send little Thumper to his new home right away. You know what? I'm going to call one out, out with... There you go. You're a chicken. Yeah, you're a chicken. Pip, you're a duck. Cactus, you've not got one. Cactus, you can be a rabbit. There you go. You're a cow. <laughs> You're a cow. Wipe your feet. Okay. Uh, morning, punks. Tall nerd. You're like 31. <laughs> um, and this one can be TN. There you go. I'll send little TN to her new home right away. Like, it's somewhere around that age. I'm 32. Oh, sorry for saying that you're younger than you actually are. I'm really sorry about that, mate. I hope you'll, I hope you'll feel better about it soon. I do apologise. Jeez Louise. Being old's all I have. Well, okay. Happy 40th birthday, then. Hope it's a good one. No consideration for your feelings, Cien. Don't you start my lights. When you start, mate. Don't start this. You're turning 30 in January. Things are <laughs> creaking and cracking more daily. I mean, I'm 24 and I'm like that. So. <laughs> I'm 24 and I've been complaining about my bad back for about three weeks now. So. Oi, sort your back out. Sort your back out. Thanks, Tornad. Appreciate that. I'm going to sort it out right now. Oh, for God's sake, Niles, get up. There's plenty of air. There's plenty of air, mate. Get up. Nice. Um... The other day, someone was like, you start disintegrating at 25. <laughs> and I was like, well, thanks, yeah. I mean, I'm 25 next month. I had to check the date for that. I don't know why. I was like, 
Is it October? It is October. Um, yeah, I turn 25 next month, so I can't wait for that. That sounds good. Sounds great. <laughs> oh! I want McDonald's. <laughs> Poison chowder, hello, welcome in. How you doing? Oh, you stretch. Um, how have you been? It's been like a million years. God, it has, hasn't it? I'm good, thanks. I've been good. I've been really good. How have you been? I'm going to sit up a bit. There you go. Don't think the amount of time you spend sitting in the computer helps. That's true. But also... I don't know. I don't have, a, I don't have another thing to say to that. So... Yeah. <laughs> Disintegrating together well. Wow. Yeah, I know. Isn't it fantastic that we can we can all sit here and disintegrate together? Isn't that just the best? Let me uh put some things in the furnace. Oh I've not put anything in the coffee thing. Um, right, furnace. There you go. Chowder! Chowder! Really busy? Uh, working in, and going to college full time, so watching you play style is a great stress relief. Oh, mate, I hope it's, um, I hope it's not too overwhelming. Good luck. Oh, it's lovely to, lovely to hear from you again. Lovely to have you in. I'm glad you're doing good. You know. Shout the ear. <laughs> it's chowder. It's so loud this morning. Right. I need to make another. Do I? Wait, that's the wrong one. This is the right one. I've got three copper bars. To make a keg, you need one. A tap, you need two. I need more copper. We have to go down the mines at some point. That's a good impression. Yeah. <laughs> Chowder! <laughs> Just that, that's all I can say. That's all I can say. Isn't it meant to be an impression of... Um, or maybe Quimby, at least, is meant to be an impression of... I want to say JFK, but I might be wrong. And then, like, all the relatives are sort of just, like, a similar sort of accent. Even though I've been playing this game for a long time, I like seeing how other people play and getting ideas from my own farm. Yeah, exactly. I've been watching a few people play this, and... Um, it's given me some ideas and stuff, you know. Yeah, it's good. Why am I in here? Excuse me, why am I in here? Glad to come in here and hear my own name so much. Yeah, <laughs> right. You can just come in and we all just start shouting, Chowder! Yeah, it must be fantastic. You found a girl yesterday on year 11. Bloody hell. I don't think I'll be playing this for that long. To be honest, like being massively honest, I don't think I've played this that long. Year 11. Would you be long dead? Well, not dead, just in a different universe or something. Kill these bastards. Uh, who am I going to romance? I'm trying to romance 
Abigail, because she keeps cheating at the egg contest, and I kind of want to know how. <laughs> so, <laughs> also, everyone else hates me. So, it's sort of like there's two main reasons for it. You know? What game do you think you'll play next? So, next, I'm going to be playing um, to the dismay of pretty much everyone who likes Stardew. Um... I'm going to be playing a game called uh, Pez, which is a football game. And people don't like football, and that's fine. So what we're doing in Pez is we've got a community league. So um, viewers have teams that they've like come up with. And then it's all going to be in a big league, and we're just going to play through it. And it'll be a good laugh. Um, I do get that people don't like football, and probably a lot of people aren't interested in that, and that's fine. But I, I won't be playing it forever, so I think last time we played it for about a week. If that, I think it was about a week. Uh, all these new followers are going to love it, yeah, right? It's It's the natural sort of, you know, you move from Stardew Valley to football, yeah, absolutely. After that, I don't know. Um, so I still need to finish Skyrim. But I don't want to go back to that just yet. Um, I really have no idea. It might be something I've never played before. Oh, there's a couple of games where I'm like, oh, maybe I should go back to that. Like Skyrim's one, City Skylines. Um... I'm not doing Football Manager. There's no fucking no chance, mate. Football Manager is the... As much as I love that game, it is a fucking massive stream killer. And I'm risking it all as it is by um, giving Pez a second go when that was, like, the worst fucking timeline um, when I was streaming that. <laughs> it was, like... It was dead. <laughs> yeah, rolling the dice on my career. Right? It was, I mean, I played Pez and then about a month later I played Football Manager and, like, it completely stunk out the gaff. Um, and it took, a, it took a lot of work to come back from that. So I don't want to do that. I don't know what it will be. Um, honestly... I wish I could tell you, but I don't know. I'm very much someone who doesn't plan ahead. The only reason I'm planning ahead for my next game is because... Like, it's taking a lot of effort for me to actually, like, mod it all properly. Um, so I've been modding it all for, like, two weeks now. And I've just about almost got to the point where it's all ready. I'm still waiting on about two teams. Um... But other than that, like, it's all set up, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I get that people won't... The reason I'm... Right, okay, so people don't like football games. The reason I'm playing it, though, is because... If I was just playing it unmodded, and, you know, I just picked, like, a team that exists to play as, and played against other teams that actually exist, it would be boring. And even I'd find that boring. Um, so I wouldn't do that. What I'm doing is making, like, a fantasy one. Um, so viewers have, like, something to get into, which means that they might enjoy it more, maybe? That's the plan, at least. Um, there's 44 teams in it, so, you know, it's quite a bit. There's still, well, I say all the spaces are full, but I don't think they are. There's a couple of teams from the first playthrough um, who were made by people who I haven't seen in months. So I might get rid of them and just put other ones in. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, yeah, it'll be silly. It'll be silly. It'll be a good laugh. I won't focus too much on the actual football. I don't think. Um, 
I just want it to be a laugh, that's all. But I do get that people won't like that. And honestly, there's been a part of me that's sort of like... Oh, shit, look at the cranberries. Oh, pumpkins, finally! There's been a part of me that's been like... Oh, I don't know if I should do this, actually. I don't know if playing a game like Planet Zoo and then playing Stardew Valley... Um, like I don't, I don't know if it's a good idea to go from them and then play like a sports game, considering what happened last time. So I'm, I'm actually, <laughs> being brutally honest, um, I'm kind of apprehensive about it. If it is a case where like I start it and like the view count is like half of what it normally is i will probably i don't want to abandon it but what i might do is not do it on twitch and maybe do it somewhere else instead maybe just discord or something um because i really don't know especially with twitch being my main source of income and everything that i don't know if i can risk it it's a bit of a gamble. It might pay off, it might not. We'll have to see. Um, but if there are people that are watching for Stardew, um, I play game not well, games like Stardew, but I, you know, I play sort of chill games for the most part. Um, so, like, as soon as I'm done with that, like, I'll be on something else that will probably be more enjoyable to watch. It's it's less about... I'm not worried that people are going to go, oh, no, he's playing a game I don't like. I'm going to unfollow. Because if someone's like that, then whatever. If, if someone's going to unfollow because I played a game for a week that they don't like, then, like, whatever. It doesn't really matter, does it? Um, You know what I mean? i do one of Minecraft dungeons with a friend. That sounds quite good. Minecraft is one that I could go back to. Possibly. I I had issues with Minecraft streaming it last time because the chat was just full of like 12 year olds asking to join the server and I was just like, no. And I got sick of that. <laughs> um, honestly, most people go for the stream and not the game. I do anyways. Possibly. I don't know if... I don't know. I don't know about that. I, I sometimes do. It depends on the streamer, honestly. There are some streamers where it's like, they can play a game that I don't like. I, I, there's some streamers where, like, I don't like Dead by Daylight. People know this. I've talked about it before. There's some streamers where, like, if they're playing Dead by Daylight, I'll stop by. Because I'm there for the streamer. And the good laughs and stuff like that, and the nice chat. There are some streamers that will play Dead by Daylight, and I'll be like, oh, they're playing Dead by Daylight. I'm not that interested. Does that make sense? Um, hang on, I'm going to pause it. Um, I think it's a mix for me. I watch streamers for the stream, but if they're playing a game I find uninteresting, then I most likely won't stop by. Probably sounds terrible. Well, the thing is, Kara, it doesn't sound terrible, I don't think, because I think that's just true for most people. Um, you know, if you follow hundreds of people, you're not making, like incredibly like established connections with all of them to the point where um you're going to be like oh i follow every streamer for the streamer and not the game i everyone i'm sure everyone i think everyone follows most people will follow some streamers for the games they play and some follow them for uh, take um uh Zafficates as an example for this Zafficates pl plays pez and he does it really well um I follow him for Pez. Sometimes he plays a game like The Witcher or like Far Cry or something like that. I tend not to tune into those just because like I don't really, I don't get those games. I'm not into them. So it is a mix. It is really a mix. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. I don't know. Um, yeah, it could be a bit. I'm a little worried about it, but we'll have to see. It's less the view count and more things like 
Oh, I don't want to say that actually because that makes me sound like an asshole. Never mind. I won't get into that. Um, I'm off, am I off Glimish now? Um, I don't know nightlife. Let's check this. Out. Let's hear it in the track Come before back. I talk about Let's this. Hear it in the track. Uh, Swiss, will you sit properly, please, mate? I am. Sound like a fucking Thank you. Sure. <laughs> Thanks, Wonderman. There you go. In other words, oh, it's nice, isn't it? I've missed loads of chat. I'm really sorry. Hang on, let's just pause the game and talk about this. Um, I've missed loads of chat. Shit. Am I off Glimish now? Said Nightlights. I don't know. I don't know what the thing with Glimish is. Um, didn't something like kick off? And then someone, I don't know what happened, but then I can't remember what it was. Someone kicked off about Glimish being shite. And then I, I don't know. There was a big thing in the Discord about like um, them not adding like pronouns and stuff like that. And then there was just like a massive argument about it. And then like a week later, they added it. But I think people still don't like it because I don't know. I don't know. So I've just not streamed on there. I don't want to get shouted at by people. <laughs> I don't want to get cancelled. That's what it is. You know? Then I have a look at Lords of Football. I, um, I've not played it yet. No. Um, I've not played it. Sadly, I would like to get around to playing it at some point, though. Again, might not be a Twitch one. It might be more of a Discord thing. We'll have to see. Um, I have a few friends I've made on here. I'm loyal to watching, but if they're playing a scary game, I can't lie. I'll tab them up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Some games you just don't like, do you? It's completely fair. I have to be really harsh with Minecraft. I know, and I don't like that. I don't like, I don't like doing that. You know what I mean? Um, you do a server? Yeah, it'd be pretty good. The thing is, servers cost and stuff as well, which is a bit... I mean, the last server we had, I, did, I didn't own, so it was fine. We'd have to... I don't know. We'll have to see about that. I'm not entirely sure. Possibly, though. Um, what do I like about Dead by Daylight? It's just not my thing. Um, I don't like um, gory games. Um, or games where you hang people on, like, meat hooks and stuff like that. Um, it's just not my cup of tea. <laughs> you know? Um, I'd hang it in your stream regardless of the game, to be honest. Assuming my schedule's free. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I love Weege, but I don't enjoy the GTA RP. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. 80% of the time I'm watching for the stream and not the game. Yeah. That, I mean, it's different for everyone, isn't it? Um, I'm so far behind on the chat. Um, or watch me stream Witcher 3 again then. See, I don't mind you watching... I don't mind watching you stream The Witcher 3. And I was saying... I, I was watching Wonderland stream Witcher 3 yesterday, and I had no idea what was going on, but I was like, it's nice. It's a nice stream. You know? Get yelled at by his chat when I comment on the PES games? Really? That's weird. I thought his chat's normally alright, to be honest. I told people I hope everyone had fun and I got told to leave. That's bizarre. That's really weird. Um, so much we all hate Twitch, there isn't really any viable alternatives. Yeah. Um I mean there is that Altair one which I don't buy into. I I think that's gonna crash and burn. I sorry, that was a really pessimistic thing to say. But if I'm being brutally honest, I don't think that's gonna work. Uh obviously there's Glimish, which sort of people went to and then didn't go to. And then yeah. And then that's and then there's a couple of other shit ones like is it Trovo and stuff like that and then other than that you've got like YouTube or Facebook. 
I don't, know, I don't have Facebook. Fuck Facebook. Um, YouTube's not much better. Twitch is obviously pretty bad, but like, yeah, I I agree. Um, a lot of people were um, looking at that Altair one, but I've looked at it and I don't know. I think the me I think a lot of people went, oh yeah, but it's got pronouns in built. I think if that's like the main thing you're looking at, that's like, oh yeah, that's convinced me to move to that. I don't know. Because there's a lot more to a streaming platform than that. And the rest of it could be absolutely shit. We'll have to see though. Because that, web that website hasn't even like started yet. But they've got a load of money pumped into it from um, people. Investors. Um, but not venture capitalists. So it's okay or something. I don't know. Um, Zach was doing a lot of Glamish developing stuff for them, asking them not to have Pepe is extremely non-cooperative with Zach, and then as soon as he said, fine, forget it, fuck off then, where they released his work as their own. Really? Because I know the person who did the pronouns, and I don't know if it was just copied off what he did or not, I don't actually know about that. But I know the person who, um, claims to have made them. I don't know about that. I'll have to look into that. Um, yeah, I saw there was some argument on the Discord or something, but I didn't really look into it, to be honest. I think that was sort of past it. I think we all sort of went there when Twitch was being a bit shit, and then we all sort of just went, nah, we'll just go back to Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? The PR people being very heavy-handed. Staff named after Nazi war tactics. What's that staff named after Nazi war tactics? What's that? I don't know about that. I, there was a good thread on Twitter lately about someone who was talking about um, platform alternatives and how a lot of people... Possibly I can include myself in this, actually. Um... Which is what made me think about it, because I was sort of like, oh yeah, that's kind of like what I do. Um, where they were basically saying like, oh, so there's Twitch is shit, basically, and there's a load of new streaming platforms popping up. And there's a load of, uh, there's a load of them popping up, and none of them are perfect, but people have this sort of notion that if a streaming platform isn't absolutely perfect then it's as bad as Twitch and should just be abandoned immediately which is obviously um, a nonsense thing to to do I'm going to sell all this and I was thinking about that there was, a, there was a, a much longer thread than that I have not gone into it in great detail but we've got enough pumpkins now because um, I'm, I'm kind of like that and I shouldn't be. Well, I'm not. Li I'm not like. Oh, well, they're as bad as Twitch. But I'm. I sort of go like. Well, it's not perfect. So I'm not going to use it. And I just think that's a bit of a. It's like the thing with Altair. Like I don't think it's perfect. Maybe a couple of years down the line, it will be. I think the problem I have with RTA is less about the features and stuff and more about, like... Um, I think it's meant to be a more casual thing. Uh, what am I doing, by the way? It's meant to be a more casual thing, Altair. It's not for, like, people who want to do streaming full-time and want to make money from it. They basically openly... Um, admitted that no they didn't basically open up openly admitted that they openly admitted that oh yeah um which immediately put me off b house nice um yeah so i was just like that's that's not for me if people go to that then that's fine um you know, 
that a lot of people stream casually, and if people stream casually and want to have a good space for that, it looks like that might be the place, but I don't think you'll um, see me on there. Facebook's the only one I'd consider is they give 100% to creators. Do they really? I just, I, I just think Facebook's a bit <laughs> shit, you know? I don't even have Facebook anymore. I delete my account. What am I doing, by the way? I went to Glimish and there's four streamers. Yeah, it's a very... It, I mean, all streaming platforms like that are really small. I think in the evenings, you got maybe like a couple of dozen streams, max. Like, it is a really small platform. Um, which is not the best. But also, it's, it's just starting out, so of course it's small. The bunnies. Oh, lovely. Um, let's go... Let's put a bee house out here, actually. There you go. Altair Kara. A-L... Oh, it's already been spelled out. Yeah, like the character from Assassin's Creed. One of the things I saw on that website was this thing about it was their TOS basically um, and I know a lot of websites do this but for a website that was specifically sort of saying look we want to have this space where like it, everyone's safe and you know there's clear terms of service and stuff like that you'd think they'd um, oh I need to put coffee beans on of course you'd think they'd maybe like possibly write a bit of their own TOS their entire TOS is um, copied and pasted. It's like a, it's like one of those open source ones, and it just sort of made me go, "Well, if they're not even going to put any effort into writing their own TOS, then I don't know how seriously I can take it." And like I said. Um, most websites don't write their own TOS and most of it's just lifted but most websites aren't trying to do a thing where they're like oh yeah our TOS is really good and um, we have a zero tolerance stuff like that kind of thing so yeah that was, that was one of the first things that I saw I don't know if anyone agrees with that. Feel free to disagree. Um, I don't know how much my opinion will change on it, to be honest. I just think that's a very... I don't know. It just seems counterintuitive to put so much sort of emphasis on your... Like, you having good rules and stuff like that. And your TOS is the same TOS as countless other websites that also have problems. I'm pretty sure, now I'm not 100% sure on this, I'm pretty sure their TOS that they've copied and pasted is exactly the same TOS <laughs> that Glimesh copied and pasted. So, I don't know. Hey Ellis, I'm good thanks, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm having a good one. I want McDonald's. Should I get McDonald's? They don't do froppies though. They don't, um, where the hell am I going by the way? I don't know what I'm doing, I just sort of run about in this game. <laughs> I'm just running about. Why did the music just... <laughs> okay. I keep having these anxiety dreams. I don't know why I'm going to talk about this. But I am. Um, zero tolerance for copied and pasted TOS documents. Yeah. 
exactly. I did drop off the pumpkins, yeah, I did. I might just sell the rest of them, you know. Um, yeah. I sold all the yam. The, I've done the yams and stuff as well. Um, I keep having this anxiety dream. Well, I assume it's an anxiety dream. Where the Kazumi. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Get ready to hear about my stupid anxiety dream. It's, it is stupid. Um, I keep having this dream where I'll be streaming and I'll say something like completely normal and then everyone goes like <laughs> fucking ape shit. <laughs> like I've said something terrible. On, I, I've had that dream maybe like three times in the past week. <laughs> I don't know why. I just keep worrying. I'll, I'll just I'll just say something perfectly normal and then someone will go like, what? I can't believe you just said that. And I'll be like, what? What did I say? And then everyone's going, no. Uh, uh. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's just a constant, like... It doesn't affect me. It doesn't worry me in real life, because I know in real life people are sort of smarter than, like, if I say something stupid, then just immediately fucking off. Um, and if they did do that, then whatever. But I don't know why that's, like, a, a big worry for me. I mean, it's not. It must be a subconscious thing. I mean, to be fair, the other day I did make a joke and then Nermatron went, wasn't that a racist joke? And I went, what? And it turns out it kind of is, and I had no idea. So, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't know these things. Uh, what am I doing? I, am I sorting out? Oh, my preserves are done. Oh, I need to put the preserve jar down. And we'll put a plum in it. Um... Yeah. I don't know about that. A Kazumi, by the way. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good day. I'm the least problematic streamer you know. Really? I don't know about that. I mean, thanks. But I don't know about that. It's just one of them things, isn't it? I guess it's one of them things where it's just like if you're sat in front of a computer like and people are watching you for like six hours a day for it's been almost two years now you're bound to end up saying something stupid you get that worry though I say stupid stuff by accident all the time and I worry about saying stupid stuff in the wrong place exactly like if I wasn't streaming and I said something stupid I could probably like deal with it a lot better whereas if I crab cakes whereas if I say it on stream like you can't really come back for that especially because people can like clip it and stuff I don't mean stupid by the way because I say stupid shit all the time I mean like offensive you only know one streamer oh that's fair And it's part of the reason why, like, I have a, like, a, not a fear, but like an aversion, I guess, to talking about, like, kind of serious, uh, heavy things on stream. Just because I do worry that, like, I'll say something daft. Um, and I just prefer not to. <laughs> I, I like having a laugh on the internet with my little online pals that are in my screen and that's nice and that's all I need you know you get what I mean if you haven't watched Rocket Man go watch it is that the Elton John one I haven't watched that but I don't watch films which makes me sound like I'm incredibly boring and I am to be fair.
Um, I put my foot in my mouth once a day regardless of any situation. Yeah. I, t I, I always try and, like, you know, think before you speak is a fantastic, um, you know, thing. Fantastic uh, bit of advice. But, like, when you're streaming, it can be a bit difficult to follow that. Because otherwise there's just silence. And dead air is a crime! So, you can't do that. Well, no, you can do that. I'm just messing. But I just don't like, like, sitting in silence the whole time. I don't want to eat this egg. Okay, there you go. Uh, thanks for reading the rules, Kazumi, by the way. I appreciate that. Thanks. Um, I don't think people care that much. Which is a very woke streamer who's a homophobic slur and I didn't try to clip it or cancel them. I mean, Lane, you're all right. <laughs> That's what I'd say. A lot of people would try and do that. It's not really a problem with any any of you. Like, I know you're all, like, fine. I I would appreciate if the, like, I, I sort of appreciate the fact that if I did say something stupid on stream, most of you would probably just say, you know, you just said something stupid, and I'd just be like, oh, and feel like an idiot, and then that's sort of it. Um, yeah. But I don't know, a lot of people I've come across are a bit more... Um, militant about it. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but you know what I mean. It, it, it does. Do you ever come across people and it just feels like they're trying to catch you out? I've definitely come across people like that and I don't like it. But I also don't want us to become a weird anti cancel culture rant because, like, I don't want to tread into that territory because that territory is already occupied by. Um, Nobeds. <laughs> so, yeah. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. Cactus. Looks really happy today. Fantastic. You know? I feel the same, but I fear talking about anything serious because I simply don't have the... Oh, talk exactly right. Tall nerds just worded it perfectly for me here. Okay, let me just read this out. I feel the same, but I fear talking about anything serious because I simply don't. Oh crap! Hang on, chat squad down. Because I simply don't have the background knowledge required for a nuanced take. That's perfect, mate. Um, that's perfect. Yeah. I, sometimes I feel like a discussion that we might have. I quite often feel as if I may not be the best person to be like the leader and the face of that discussion because it's not something that um, affects me if that makes sense um, do you know what I mean I, f I just feel like I can't, I don't know about a good example. Do you get what I mean when I say that? I can't think of an example off the top of my head, but I just feel like, because I'm not the most educated person in the world, um, I, I feel like, because it, it's my stream, obviously, I'm like the leader of the discussion, or like at least the face of it, and the moderator of it and stuff like that, and I feel like it's kind of just a bad idea. Especially when it's something that, like you say, Tall Nerd is quite nuanced. Um, which many, many things are. Everyone, I'm typing in the website address for Uber Eats. I'm hungry. I'm on McDonald's. <laughs> right. Where are we going? Uh, we could go to Sainsbury's. <laughs> we've got Sainsbury's. Okay, McDonald's. Dead air is a crime. Read the small print on your contract. Exactly. Um, what kind of anxiety dreams? I So I used to just have... I Well, not used to. I have dreams where I'll say something stupid on Twitch, basically. And people tell me off. 
that's that's it. Um, since when the hell was there a double Big Mac? That's a new one. Um, right, I'm gonna get one of them. Sorry, hang on. Um, what I'm saying is I don't like people. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's the Art and John movie, and I love it. So a few months before seeing me in concert. Oh, nice. I've heard about that film. I did a Twitch Sings duet with someone who was drunk at the time they were doing the duet. And it was a duet of Rocket Man. And she started, like, talking about the film and then, like, started crying while talking about the film. Because, um... It's apparently quite emotional. Would I be correct in saying that? One of my IRL friends was a bit of a troll in my chat. Basically, I had to tell him to stop trying to catch me out all the time because I didn't want other people to be influenced by his behaviour. Yeah, that's fair, Hoops. That's fair. I get that. I just want it to be a nice place where we can have a nice chat and a laugh. Um, and you all sit here and go, why is he not playing the game? But he's staring at your screen and I have to go, it's because I'm ordering McDonald's. And you go, oh, okay, that makes sense. And I go, thanks. Do they do froppies? They don't do froppies in my McDonald's. I'm so pissed off about that. Can someone remember the time right now? It's 12.13. Cara, when you sent that. Um... Someone has severe anxiety and needs to take medication every day because I get where you're coming from. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, by the way. But yeah, I, 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 I'm I, sure I'm not alone in that sort of like train of thought. But it's still a pretty shit train of thought, you know. Um, Shall I get a strawberry milkshake? Why are they only medium? Oh no, you can get large. Why is a large milkshake £2.9? When was that a thing? Two pounds nine for a milkshake. It's always been like that. Double Big Mac. I don't like half the things in a Big Mac. <laughs> That's the problem. Oh, for God's sake, oh. Fuck me, that was loud. <laughs> Bigger Mac, yeah. Go go do shopping. Night lights, have a good shop. Take care. Um. Yeah, I've heard that film's really good, Ellis. I... Yeah, I might have to give it a look at sometimes. Sometime. You missed the frobbies? Yeah. Customize the Big Mac. I'll just get... Sorry, how much is that? That double Big Mac is... How much was it? 469. 420, 69. Nice. That's the weed and the sex number, if anyone didn't know that. Um... I'm not going to get nuggets today. Can you believe that? No nuggets for me. I got the nuggets last time. I'll tell you why. I got the nuggets last time and I almost died on stream because I was just like, this is too much. <laughs> I know, Bark. My problem is, right, where are the nuggets again? So the nuggets, like six nuggets are 359, but 20 are 469. So I go, right, I'll just get 20 then. And then I get through like half of them after everything else I've had. And I'm just like, nah, it's too much. It's too much chicken. It just kills you. Um, I might get a McFlurry or an apple pie. Did he do apple pie still? Hot apple pie. One pound nine. That fucking sugar tax, isn't it? What the hell? Okay. I think that's it. Wait, hang on. I'm trying, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure it out. What do I normally get? Love the food ordering stream. <laughs> Thanks, Pip. You get a cheese sandwich. Crispy apple donut. They're good though, aren't they? 
They're fucking good. Should I get fries instead? Okay, wait, hang on. Fries and sides. Okay. So... There you go. Right. Yes. Check out. Oh shit, my fucking email address. How do you get discounts on Uber Eats? <laughs> Does anyone know? How much is six nuggets? It was, was it three, three fifty nine? Three fifty nine? I never get coupons, Kara. Feel ripped off. Absolutely ripped off. Um, sure. Service fees, my ass. They send me coupons, but never. Yeah, they always work for like one weird place that you never go to. Yeah, so it's I think it's three fifty nine for six of them, but then for twenty of them it's like four something. Thirteen dollars for six nuggets. What the hell? Right. Okay, that's right. No deliveries to schools. Ordering to a school, it's McDonald's policy to cancel the order without a refund. I'm not ordering to a school, so it's fine. Okay. Uber Eats wants to know, know my location. That's fine. Okay, that's ordered, I think. Hang tight. Wait, there you go. Order received, working on it now. Latest arrival, 115. Fuck off. I can't wait that long. Moving back to the UK, yeah. What am I doing? Should we go down the mine? Oh, I need to sell this stuff. Oh, we need to sort the eggs and stuff out. I will try and play Stardew while I have my food. I don't think I'll take a break. I don't think I need to. I don't normally. Um, right, here we go. Take a break. I'll take a break when I put my food away afterwards. It'll be fine. It'll be closer to like two or something, maybe. But that's fine. $30 and that's 10. How much is 30 Australian dollars though? 30 AUD in GBP. 16 pounds. Well, i say it's about half then. So $13 is, that's a lot. That is a lot. I don't know why it'd be that much. Maybe there's like a weird tax on it. So I got, my. how, was, how much was mine altogether? Getting, excluding the, oh no, you can't. Including the service fee and the delivery, um, fifteen pounds, which is um, about uh, twenty-eight Australian dollars. Which sounds about right, I think. Take a break. Take a Kit Kat. Yeah. Exactly. My back. I want McDonald's. We don't care. We'll have a McDonald's. What's apple pie? Everything in Australia is really expensive, like food, clothes, houses, anything. What about gas? Little bit of satire there for you. I don't know what to do. I'm sort of just waiting for this shit to grow. Oh, I sort of my cows actually. Paying for oh, sorry, cactus. When I say gas, I mean like um uh what would you call it? Like house gas? Energy gas, yeah, not not what we call petrol. 
sorry. We don't call that gas, we call it petrol. Um, I'm gonna go to Robin, maybe, actually. Easy, yeah, it is an easy mistake to make. Although petrol is, like, yeah, petrol is also getting expensive. And also, there is, like, none of it. Well, there is some of it, but we just can't get it delivered. <laughs> it's a lot of problems here. My power bill would make you vomit. You want to see a graph cactus of um, gas prices in the UK over the past year? If you want to vomit. Uh, let me show you this. You ready? There's no shortage anymore. Yeah, that's true. So that was the start of this year. That's what it is now. One thirty three. I don't know gas price. I don't know petrol prices even. I couldn't possibly um just north of London. Boo Um what am I doing? I need to put some of this fruit away. Souvenirs, boo Boo you're from Manchester, you don't get to say that. <laughs> That's only marginally better. The home county is steady on, mate. <laughs> Two fifty monthly for power on a budget plan. We shall up at the end of the year. Oh that's shit. I mean I don't I I don't know. I don't sort out the energy and stuff in my house, so I don't actually know if that's a lot or not. Someone else can probably... It probably is. Just don't know, I'm sorry. Um, petrol's like 99p a litre, really? I guess an electric costs like 70 quid a month. Oh, really? I, I see, I don't know this shit. <laughs> Maybe I should. I have to get groceries, have a good day. You too, Bark. Get yourself something nice. All right. Take care. Have a good one. Follow Pipette if you're not, by the way. Good streamer. A good laugh, as they say. Uh, down south. Oh, sorry, did you not want that? Did you not want me saying nice things? Sorry, would you like me to call you a prick instead? You're shy. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's reverse the shout out. Yeah. I don't know how you do that. Let's unfollow Pip. Yeah, <laughs> everyone unfollow. Horrible, toxic streamer. <laughs> Twitch.tv forward slash little pipette. Don't follow. Avoid at all costs. I can just sell most of this shit, you know. Did you guys know subgay? Su subgay? <laughs> <laughs> Subgate. Did you know Subway um, gave me a discount yesterday? I didn't know that. It's good to hear. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's good. You deserve it. It's crazy when I got the money in my PayPal, it said Swiss Neat. Well, that's very weird. You should talk to them about that because there's clearly some sort of, um, some sort of, uh, weird glitch in their system. Maybe the money was meant for me. 
Such a good neighbor. Oh, nice. Why would I say such a thing, horrible streamer? I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sub gay. Oh, that's like the funniest thing I've ever said, and I didn't even mean it. I'm not getting it back, that's fine. I, I'm i very glad that we could determine the maximum amount of money I will spend on uh, making a joke. So you actually helped me out with that. So thanks, I appreciate that. Where's my dom gay? I ask myself that every day. Right, let's sort out the coffee. Again, let's sort out the eggs. Semi-detached, yeah, semi-detached and like terrorist and stuff like that. Or as I used to call them, uh, terrorist, I didn't realize. I genuinely thought they were called terrorist houses. Um, yeah, they're really common here. Get to be brave, yeah, I know. <laughs> Can some of my Yorkshire puddings? Oh, I could do with some Yorkshire puddings. Sounds good. Can I make another keg? Oh, I need more wood. I had pizza yesterday with cheesy chips, and I... Oh, any more cheesy chips, but I only have pizza left. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope they were good, though, Hydro. Also, um, hello. I don't like cheesy chips. I... Have I... We've mentioned this before, haven't we? I'm just like a little freak who doesn't like anything nice. Do you know what, Pip? Oh god, you're new here, aren't you? Um, how do I get into this? I don't like excessive amounts of melted cheese or any dish in which melted cheese is like half of the components. So cheesy chips, mac and cheese. I like pizza, but I don't like pizza with like a ton of cheese on. Um, yeah, I'm weird. You just eat a bowl of melted cheese. You know what it is? It's the texture. I can't, I can't stomach it. I can't stomach the texture. It just, it's just not right. Oh, the coffee being made. You don't like cheese, so it's fine. A lot of people I've talked to recently don't like cheese. Must be a uh, must be a new thing. Don't know. Not to backseat cook. <laughs> Mrs. Nerd goes for twenty twenty five minutes and she does good Yorkies. I guess it depends on the size though, right? As well. You know, I've been there for four. Just preparing it. That's that's fair, actually. Four o'clock is a very odd time to have dinner. Len. Len looks very happy today. They're easy to reheat. They are. That is true. I'll eat all your cheesy chips for you. Yeah, please. <laughs> I don't want them. You still got drinking before I became an old woman. And I used to have cheesy chips and gravy at 4am. Isn't that very similar to a popular Canadian dish? It's not entirely the same. Because I think the Canadian one is like cheese curds, which is like 10 times more disgusting. No offence, uh, Cactus, if you're still here. Is it poutine? Am I saying that right? Yeah. It sounds a lot like that. Yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not, um, poutine, yeah. Is that not how you say it? 
Uh, everyone, uh, Sikandar is picking up my order. Fantastic. <laughs> Not that great, really. Hello, Swish. Starting to feel better, but still copying a lot, but I did the hoovering. Congratulations. I'm glad you're finally feeling a bit better. It is the end of the week, so, um, yeah, I'd be surprised if you still felt ill. But that's good. That's good news. Let's go into the mines. Hey, let's go about mines, everyone. Miss all the UK food. Food in Australia is so gross. Compared to UK food, really. Wow, that must be bad. <laughs> Um, actually, am I going to the quarry, you know? No, oh, it's not really a lot here, but... I can maybe get some coal in these or something. Um, I missed Swiss saying sub getting to the sub. Wait, yeah, I did that. I did add a stream marker. So if anyone didn't clip it, I will go back and clip it later. It was an accident, by the way. I was going to say a really bad joke to that. But it's probably already been made. <laughs> that's, that's what I'd say. Jacket potato? Ugh, God. I don't know how people eat that. It's just boring. A happy accident. Yeah. Jacket potato is fucking boring. Do you like hash browns, Pip? I bet you like hash browns, don't you? I bet you love hash. I bet you go, ooh, I want a hash brown. You do. You see, it's just so predictable. So predictable. You usually load them with cheese to make them more. See, if you have to load anything with cheese to make it more interesting, it's don't have it. <laughs> it's there's no point. Jackets and chili. Tall Nerd's favourite meal is a spaghetti bolognese, which is quite nice. I quite like that. Do I like anything? <laughs> yeah. Uh, where's that quote again? Which one is it? Let's have a look. Is it number uh, 34? Here you go. Ironically, that mentions cheese and potatoes, which I've gone on today and said that I'm not really a massive fan of, but only in those particular senses, I guess. Um, yeah, I like I like I like whole che like whole cheese, like solid cheese, like not melted, um, and I like potato in other forms, apart from hash brown. Um, yeah. You prick, get out of the way. You know. Um, good afternoon. Matt is my name. Welcome in. How are you? Have to know now. Favorite form of potato. Um, depending on how they're made, probably roast. Um, I do uh, either roast or fries one of the two um yeah probably roast though a, a good roast potato is better than the best fry i think you know go for a smoked sausage supper what that now we're talking about uk food i've never heard of that in my life what's a smoked sausage supper <laughs> That does sound really British. I don't know what that is. Uh, 
Get out of the way. A nice crispy roast potato that's fluffy on the inside. Oh, it just doesn't get better, does it? Ow. You have roasties in the oven to make the best ones. Oh, share. Please, please. Rootless roast potatoes? Oh, really? The way you've typed that out makes it sound like that's the name of a brand, which would be a very strange name for a brand of roast potatoes. Smoked sausage, a deaf had one when I was in Newark. And in Glasgow as well. Oh, I, I've not heard of this. I've not heard of this. Um, Sikandar is still... Where the hell are you, mate? I don't know where Sikandar is, but um, they've not got my order yet, and I'm, I'm pretty peeved about that. That's Sikandar? No. <laughs> it's just a... It's just a normal car. <laughs> That's a joke. It doesn't even make sense, does it? Because his name isn't... No, forget that. I th I don't know what I was trying to... I don't know what I was trying to make there. Sorry. I'm hungry. Didn't even make any sense. Oh, shit! I'm going to take that on the chin. I don't give a shit. I'll take it. Yeah, I didn't lose much good stuff. I could probably get that aquamarine back, but like... I didn't realise. I keep forgetting to pay attention to it. So we'll just do that. Sorry if that was loud, by the way. Roast potatoes with lots of salt and gravy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Has to be on the side, otherwise you'll sog them up. That's such a lovely poetic way to put it. Ooh, didn't mean to do that. Do I know Australian food? Um, Other than the stereotypes? No. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, that's just asking for stereotypes. <laughs> Come on, Hoops, we're better than that. I could have quite easily said Foster's and barbecued shrimp. God damn it, Pip! <laughs> Come on, we're better than that. We're funnier than that. <laughs> Shit. Oh, my God, <laughs> Matt, good question. That is a mutant carp which is a legendary fish, which I didn't know existed. Yeah, it's a mutant carp. It's pretty good. Right, my aquamarine. That's cool. It took so long to catch. I was wrangling with it for two minutes. And I know it doesn't sound like long, but two whole minutes of wrangling with it. The Spirit's Eve. Okay. We might do that. They're called prawns. Is that the same thing? Are shrimps and prawns the same thing? Or are they are they, are they the same thing there but not here? Because there's some things like that, aren't they? Frost isn't that big in Australia. Oh, is it not? You wouldn't know, would you? Um, fishing stressful enough, let alone two minutes. Well done, thanks. Yeah, it was fucking awful. <laughs> it was so much. 
Let me give you an Australia food lesson. Yeah, go for it, Ellis. Don't let these people Australia explain to you. It, it might be a case where they're the same thing in Australia, because there, there, are, there are things like that, aren't there? Where sometimes words are, like, different and stuff. Right? Maybe in the UK they're, they're different, but in Australia they, they just have the same name for it. That, that, that's a thing. That's gotta be a thing. No? I'm really white. I mean, I know I'm really white, but like, I need copper. I might just go and buy some, you know. I might just go and buy some copper, to be honest. Let's sort out the eggs. Me struggling to catch a catfish and rage quitting. Oh, I don't think I've caught a catfish in this. I have a lot of money. I do. That is uh, very true. I've got a lot of money. We could probably do something with it. We'll just buy the the copper here. Yeah. Right? Makes sense. Okay. Just sell some of this. Things I oh, Abigail! Things I love, the smell of carved pumpkin, keeping an amethyst under my pillow, chocolate cake, the thrill of a spicy eel, and the comfort of mum's blackberry cobbler. I like to eat. Nice. Noted. Okay, let's sort the eggs out then. Australia has the world's longest golf course, measuring more than 850 miles. What? <laughs> that can't be right. That's, like, longer than the UK. Really? 850 miles. What's the, what's the, like, the par? And stuff like that. <laughs> On a golf course like that. Because I can't imagine it. I, I can't imagine it's like, oh, hole one. And it's like 30 miles par five, you know? It's It's got to be like par a lot. A lot of pars. What's that? Genie shoes, six immunity. Hmm. Weird. Okay. I need to go and buy some copper. Sikandar has my order. You'll get an alert when it's at your door. It's at 12, 1252 estimated. 1252 everyone. Actually just land as most of the land is too extreme to live on. Oh yeah, I I know I knew about that. It's like isn't it the middle of it is like quite empty and that's why all the big cities are like on the coast and stuff. I knew, I knew that. I knew one thing. I know things. I think we need to talk to Robin as well, which I completely, once again, forgot to do. Because I'm a tosser. Oh, it's 21 of the world's 25 most venomous snakes. And you know something? All 21 of those are now in my zoo. <laughs> in Planet Zoo. They're all... They're all mine. Right. Copper ore. How much of this do I buy? Like, a lot. 50? That can make 10 bars. Sure. I might buy some coal actually is. Oh, you know what? We don't need to buy coal. Because we can just, um... We can just use the wood, can't we? Only seat in the world that can 
have aircraft land in its CBD. Sorry, what's CBD? Because that means something else to me. So I don't know what that means. I'd like to know them. Did a play in school which was all about the penal colony in Australia. Oh, really? It's weird, that, isn't it? That, like... set of facts. Oh, Central Business District, okay. <laughs> I was thinking of something else. It's called Our Country's Good. Weird. <laughs> I joined studying it, but also lucky enough to catch it in the theatre. Oh, sorry. When it says our country's good, it means Australia. I thought... something. Sorry. I thought it was, like, from the point of view of, like, the British going, yeah, our country's good because we just send all the bad people to Australia or whatever. Which, I don't even know if they actually did that. Um, but that's what I learned in school. But I learned a lot of bollocks in school, so I don't know, like, what's true and what isn't anymore. It is larger than you think. It's because um, when you look at um, a world map, the no, wait, yeah, no, that's something else. <laughs> Sorry, that's I'm thinking of Greenland. Greenland's a lot smaller than you think it would would be because. The way they distort maps to get a, a spherical thing and lay it out flat, parts of it have to be distorted. So greenhouse, greenhouse, Greenland is a lot larger than you'd think. What are we gonna get? Big barn, big shed, shipping bin, big shed. Big barn. Unlocks goats. Doubles the size of the shed. Let's get big barn. Oh, you can paint the buildings. I didn't know that. Okay, Robin. You do that. Thanks. It's 12.52. Sikandar is one minute away, it says. It says 12.53, estimated arrival. Um, I don't think that's one minute away, but sure. What, well, five Aussies live less than 50 kilometers from the coastline? Yeah, again, because the, uh, like, isn't the middle, like, really hot? Or just, like, hard to inhabit? All the spiders and shit. <laughs> the title's based on a poem by Pickpocket, who was moved there. Oh, weird. Interesting, though. <gasps> Let's hope my Uber Eats delivery person isn't as bad as the one Pip got yesterday. What if it was the same person? What if it's the same person? Recovering, what from your cheese sandwich? He will never let that go. By the way, it's if you hadn't called it a cheese sandwich, I would not have made too much of a fuss about that. But just the idea that you went to Subway and got a cheese sandwich. A 
That's literally what it was. Well, at least they gave you a refund. <laughs> it was steak. Can't even forget the steak. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we need to put copper in here. And also wood in there. Oh, I think he's here. I'm going to be back in one minute, all right? Well, it might be two minutes. Just let this stuff run to itself. Oh, he was very nice. <laughs> oh shit, I just fucked that up. Oh, they gave me a paper straw. How kind of them. Nothing happened, yeah. Nothing happened. Leaving the game running. It's fine. Oh god, it smells good. You know what McDonald's smells like? That's what my room smells like right now. Not to make anyone jealous or anything, but... I might just sit in here all day, you know? Well, that stuff runs itself. Oh yeah, look all the fucking tissues they gave me. It's my lucky day. If I wasn't having a big turkey feast, I'd totally forget. I'd totally be getting McDonald's, yeah. Well, it's good, isn't it? First police force in Australia was made up of well-behaved convicts. That sounds... Stupid, but likely. I'm gonna put music on in the background because I don't want to hear. I don't want you to hear me chewing. You thought I was getting subway? No. Um, Pip got subway yesterday. That's why we mentioned it. Oh. That's all. Good music, this, isn't it? <laughs> Subjective, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I can't leave the game running to itself, can I? Eh. I've got enough coal. No, I haven't actually, that's a lie. There you go. You want McDonald's now? Get it. Why not? Hopefully you get a different driver. That's weird hoops, I wonder why that is. I wonder why that is.
Kara, take care. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Have a good one. It's 11 p.m. It's the 26th. Two centimeters long. Sorry, what? Two centimeters long. <laughs> doesn't sound right at all. Hmm. Thank you, Kaba. I appreciate that. Let me finish these before I start my next day. I just brought one on the floor. <laughs> Take care, hoops. Have a good one. Have a good Sunday. It's like a little jelly bean. I kind of want to see it now. Let me Google. Tiny kangaroos. Two and a half centimeters. Goodness me. The size of a grape. Oh, yeah. That's tiny. What the hell? You're kind of Thank you, Steve, mate. I appreciate that. In a tiny little box. <laughs> How you doing, mate? Welcome in. The spirits are in good humour today. Glad to hear it. Oh no, that's always been there. The whole time. Yeah, mate. You're just not paying attention. It is, Steve. Two days. I'm just going to stay in that little shed today. And... Get all this stuff growing. Get all the stuff growing. Get all the coffee and stuff. Sort it out. You know. Am I prepared? I am Steve. We've done it before and we'll do it again. We're making coffee this year. Loads of coffee and jam. Very much looking forward to it. I knew that one, Ellis. Just because I had to Google Vegemite once to find out what the difference between that and Marmite was. <laughs> That's good, though.
Steve, you're absolutely right, mate. That's exactly what it is. Nail on the head, mate. Nail on the head. Oh. Steve, it's not bad. I bought it about a year ago. If you're into that sort of thing, it's it's all right, but like, yeah, there is a reason why it's free on Epic. Um, it's normally about ten quid. It's probably worth like ten quid, I'd say. Any more than that, and you're getting ripped off. Probably you go on to stream. I reckon. Just not for me. I gave it about an hour. And I was just like, nah. Not for me, I think. I don't think. Not awful, though. Loads of those games that sound boring end up being quite good, though, don't they? Farming sim and stuff like that. Although, I don't know if you like that. Oh my god. I've got a bit of silly stuff in. Sometimes, Steve, yeah. Weirdly. I think those games were a bit better if they were a bit janky. I don't know if you agree with that, but I just get that feeling sometimes. From those kinds of games where, like, if they're a bit buggy or something silly happens, it sort of adds to it a little bit. Like, like Truck Sim. When sort of weird little things happen in that. It's just kind of a laugh, isn't it? Never tried Truck Sim. I think you might like it, Steve. Might be a better one for multiplayer. Possibly. It's a good one for streaming. Um, if you like, you, I mean, you like your chatting streams, don't you? Um, because it means the ca there's something else. Now, I don't know how you feel about this, but I don't really like it when I've just got people staring at my face. So, to have something on that they can look at that's not my face, um, is I quite like that. Oh, look at that, man. Horrible. Hmm. You love it. Put the game in the corner really tiny. Do that, then. There's mods for that that make it that. The game plays you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, there's some mods for that that are quite daft, which are quite funny. Um, hmm.
Nile had that 10,000 horsepower one. That was quite funny. The game just freaks out. I'll have to wait to do this, I can't. Holding my burger. Sorry. I can do that. I guess. Obi and me, hello. How are you doing? Thank you. I got some McDonald's. It's stuck in my throat. Hang on, everyone. Every time. Every time I get McDonald's, it gets stuck in my throat because I eat it too fast. Every time. How are you doing, Obi? Well, how's Obi doing? But how are you doing as well? I keep calling you Obi, I'm sorry. It's me with every meal. Yeah, I'm like that with most things. But McDonald's always. I'm well, thank you, he's a spoiled little shit. Nothing new there, then. <laughs> it's okay if you call me Obi. I don't want you to think that I think that your name is Obi, that's all. That's why I keep sort of going back on it. It's a bit of the name Jessica. I like the name Jessica. I think it's a nice name. Let's check this out. Put it, go back, and let's, let's see it in a track. track. There you go. In other words, speaks for itself, really. Stuck. Hang on. Woo! There we go. Um. My schedule has weekday streams, so I always do weekend streams. I don't really... I messed about that schedule a while ago, and I've not really paid attention to it since. Um, I always do weekday streams. Sometimes I will not do a Saturday or a Sunday, or neither. Um, Yeah. I don't know what, like, chance there are, or what percentage... Like, I actually do a stream on them, but, like... Sometimes I'll take off a Saturday or a Sunday or both. Which is why they're not in my schedule. Um, yeah, it depends. Sometimes I just do things on those days. <laughs> Doing things. No, I don't. Sometimes I just sit there in bed instead. Because I'm just like knackered or whatever. I hope you understand. <laughs> yeah. Um, most most weekends I do stream at least one of the one of the days. Pleasant surprise then. Yeah. It's like a little surprise. Like a bonus stream. Here we are, look. Hello, Persuadertron. How you doing?
Welcome in. Exactly. I stream on the weekend just for you. Sound tie yourself. I'm alright, mate, yeah. I'm not bad. Not bad at all. Glad to hear you're doing alright. Right, I forgot about is it is it down and then across and then yeah. I did it last year, Obi. So it's a bit sad that it doesn't change every year. Can't believe it's already been a year. Exactly. Getting through it really fast. At least have the option not to turn up for the Moby. You know. Is that it? Now, that is it, isn't it? That is just it. Fantastic. Can't skip, skip Spirit's Eve, got to get that pumpkin. Exactly. Yeah. Every time. Every time I've, I feel like I've got to go to them and do something. Cranberries, right, okay. I'm gonna go to a BRB screen for a few minutes while I put this stuff away. I don't wanna be eating while I do this because um I've gotta do the hay and the cranberries and all that as well. So I've gotta sort everything out today, so I can't really just sit there. So I'll be back in about five minutes, all right. Um I'll run some ads. Just mute them. Alright, hang on. Um, all the stuff on the bags said um, uh, McDonald's binocular. None of the stuff I got had any like binocular stuff. So is it? Doesn't they normally do that in like April? Or? Inventory's full. Shit. Binocoli. <clears throat> yeah. Binocoli. Ugh. All got delayed from COVID. Oh, uh, did it? That's fair. I didn't get anything with... I even got an apple pie that normally comes with a binocoli thing on. Can <laughs> Wait, hang on a second. I've got a good picture of one tall nerd, actually. Hang on. Oh, I hope I still have at least. Um, you just reminded me. 
Oh, I hope I've still got the picture of it. it fucking oh, when I saw it the first time. Hang on. <laughs> oh, it's so good, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Fucking hell, I cracked up at that when I first saw it. Oh, it's only certain items. They normally do it on the apple pie, don't they? <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> they do it on fries. They didn't do it on my fries. The bastards. Unless I didn't look properly. They didn't do it on my fries. Or my apple pie. They don't do it on the burgers. Unless you get like a Big Mac or whatever, I don't think. And I didn't get a Big Mac because I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like the green stuff they put on it. Oh, look at the resin I got there. Hmm. What a day. Right, I need to harvest all the um, hay and stuff like that as well. <laughs> Necrobopoly. <laughs> Oh. <clears throat> Large fries were given, don't bother with anything less. That's what I got. I've got two of them, mate. <laughs> Neither of them had fucking Monopoly shit on. Oh, do you know? I think, it, wait, hang on. I think actually the labels said it ends on the 5th of October, which I realise is gone. Maybe that's why. Yeah, 5th of October. So they're just still using the um, the old stickers. But it's ended. Oh, it's only just started for you. Oh, weird. It, not, they normally do it here in um, your, your March, April time, I think. As far as I'm aware. Oh, yeah, that was good. All that shit that I got. <laughs> it's necrobopoly. Oh, that really tickled me the first time I saw it. Right, how many kegs can I make with that? <clears throat> Three. What have I run out of there? Iron. Big iron. Big iron. And honey as well. Sugar. Do, 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 do. Oh, honey, honey, no, 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 no. The big iron on his hip. <clears throat> big iron, big iron. Johnny Cash did a fantastic cover of that song, by the way, if you've not heard it. He made it, like, a really slow and sad song. Um, and it works so well, especially with, like, his voice and stuff. It works fantastically. Um, you know the viewer figure Twitch shows? I was told by a tiny streamer I tried to support. When it shows one, that includes the streamer themselves. So what's going on when someone's alive and it shows a zero? I don't think it does show the streamer. Unless they're watching their own stream on Twitch. Surely. <clears throat> I don't think it does. I mean, I'm not entirely sure. But I think the only reason it would do that is if they've got their stream open in another tab. Which a lot of people do. Um, to you know, to make sure that it doesn't go, f it looks alright and everything. <clears throat> but I don't think it just automatically does that. Because a lot of people look at their Twitch chat 
through like I'm looking at it through mod view or whatever it's called like the stream manager whereas a lot of people do it through um other stuff like um they actually watch it through their own page <coughs> excuse me um <coughs> they won't do tall nerd um I don't think they will in the same way that um <coughs> view bots don't count towards it if stream element because stream elements is in thousands of streams isn't it um and sorry stream labs the bot probably wouldn't i think you have to have the stream open not just have it like a viewer in there i'm not entirely sure persuaded one but i think that's the case i'm willing to have my opinion Swayed on that. Multiple windows open that share the same IP address only count as one viewer. That probably makes sense, yeah. <clears throat> I've not got any iron bars. I need iron. Big iron. Oh, sorry. I'll stop now. Could buy some. Oh, right. <clears throat> Let's get that done. Oh, that's still... Oh, shit, yeah, I know why. Hang on. We'll, put just, we'll just put them in there. In fact... No. I'll sell the cranberries. All right. All right. But actually, we could just put some of the. We just make loads of cranberry jam, can't we? There you go. Um, have you ever played Terraria? Or Terraria? I haven't. I know a couple of people that play it though. Um, yeah, I've wa I watch people play it. I don't play it myself though. I don't know if it'd be my kind of thing. I like watching it, but I don't think I'd like playing it. Sorry to be so, like, no. <laughs> I didn't mean to be like that, but... Um, nah, I don't think it's my thing. I have an itchy nose, though. I hope that makes up for it. <clears throat> Terraria's good. Yeah, Mr. Random. So, Mr. Random, you play Terraria. I watch Mr. Random play Terraria. On, I believe it's Wednesdays. And it's a lot of fun. It's nice. Right, I need to wild honey. Wild honey couldn't drag me away. Wild, wild honey. We'll eat them someday. Um, you love it personally? It, I can see why. I get why. When I stream and inevitably have to make it look like I have an army of adoring fans, I need to have thousands of separate VPN sessions. Yeah. Or, um, well, I mean, you'd probably get... Would Twitch know that you did that? I'm not advocating for it, obviously, but, like, would Twitch actually know that if someone did that? People usually figure it out. You can always tell when someone's using um, ViewBots because their chat will be dead <laughs> and they'll have like dozens of viewers. Um, that grandma, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. That's a fantastic username. <laughs> that grandma. How much of this am I buying? Probably that much. No, you know what? We'll buy more. You know what? We'll buy loads of it. There you go. Nice. Yeah. 
animals are best and people who don't like animals are off. Yeah. People are fucking weird, aren't they? Very strange. Our beloved Mona. Oh, that's just... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Um, I'm doing well. Hope all is well with you. I'm glad that you're doing well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good, thank you. I'm pretty well. Oh! Yeah, I just had a nice... Uh... I'm going to forget that, so that's fine. I just had a nice dinner. Um, yeah. Still got my apple pie here. I might just save that for later, you know. I think I might actually die if I have it right now. So I should probably just hold on to it. I need to get this iron sorted out. Like, as soon as possible. Because um, I need to make more kegs in time for the winter. Probably more um, coal as well, actually. However, now I can make two more kegs. This is going to start taking up too much space, isn't it? Yeah. I might be running out of space here a little bit. Um. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I might have to get the... Uh, didn't mean to do that. Might have to get the... Uh, what's it called? Requires five ores. What? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I could use the basement. Yeah, that's a good point. I just want to do it all in here. That's my thing. That was what I was trying to do. It, the lighting's really weird in here. Why is it like that? It's so, like... Light, but in a good way. I don't know how it's managed to do that. It doesn't normally do that. Weird. Um, yeah. I've got to sort this out. I think I might put them, like... Try and put them down here. Maybe. And then you can sort of, like... Hmm... So if you do that... No, 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 no. Wait. If you were to go... There is a way you can do this. So you put one there, right, and then one there. And then you put a, a line... Remove these. Okay. Then you'd go, oh, put one there, but don't put one there. Put one there, and then put one there. And then you can go like this, look. Then you just move these. Somewhere else. Um, I don't know where. Down here? And then, I mean, you can grab that. Right, you see where I'm coming from with this? Something like that. <clears throat> mm, season two, late spring in my Stardew Valley save. Oh, you play it modded. What mods do you use? Uh, just out of interest. I'm, I'm playing it modless just so I get like, it's the first time I played it, so I get like the authentic experience. But um, I'm interested in like the mods that people use. You know? I will just put those away for now. Um, I can make another few kegs. Like that. Um, I won't chop that down just yet, but we will move that in a bit. Okay, right. I think that's about... 
So then you just load these up, right, with coffee. Yeah. Um, probably put some more iron in there. Because I have, oh yeah, a bit more. I could make another tapper. I think we should be fine for tappers now. Right, yeah. It's all going along well. I have a few that tell me my luck birthdays for the day. I recently got started to expand it. Ow! My elbow just cracked. Um, Because I've been playing for a while, I need something new. And it's amazing. I've heard it's very good, yeah. I've heard that's a very good mod. Um, It's really bright, isn't it? It's not something I've tried myself. Um, But maybe next time I play it. Like, if I do another playthrough, I'll probably give it a go. Why not? I want my milkshake. Yeah. That's good. Gonna play any games for Halloween? Yeah, um, Pez? <laughs> no, um... I don't know, Steve, actually. I've not really given that any thought. I don't... I'm not big on Halloween. But I guess it would be kind of interesting to play, like, a... A Halloween game. Maybe. I don't know... I don't know. I don't know what I like. How like what sort of Halloweeny type game I'd be into, to be honest. Can't really think of any. Luigi's Mansion, something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, I've got milk moustache. Right, I can make one more keg now, can't I? Fantastic. Okay, that should be enough kegs. Um, I mean, that's a fucking billion of them. In fact, I might move that one over there, actually. You know? Oh my god, it's 1am! Shit! What about playing horror games for Halloween? Does anyone have any recommendations? Um... I don't know. Uh, I mean, I don't know many horror games. I I was thinking about maybe is it? It's not necessarily Halloween, so I don't know if it'd be worth it. But I've always wanted to try that Grim Fandango. You know that one with um the skeleton guy. But I don't really know how Halloweeny that is. It's just that I think the main guy's a skeleton, and that's sort of it. Um. Yeah. That's when the milk's in a hurry. <laughs> milk moustache. Classic, Steve. Classic. Baby needs a crib. Oh, it is literally for babies. Okay. Here we go. It's winter. It's coffee time, everyone. Bam, 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 bam. Just one second, everyone. Uh, I am lying now, actually. That's a good point, Steve. Let me change the stream title. Thanks for letting me know. Appreciate that. Okay. So we just let the coffee do its business. The coffee, the coffee just sorts itself out. 
Wouldn't it be lovely some big dev to put the mantle of a football game in the classic Pez spirit? So you could play dressed as 11 Draculas? Oh, that'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Yeah, I remember Pez 6 with the, uh... The what's it called? The things. The things. The, um... The dinosaurs versus the penguins and stuff like that. Time to change the stream title. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't ignoring you on purpose. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. He doesn't like me that much. That's a lie. That's a lie. The bare faced cheek of it. Dinosaurs. Yeah, the dinosaurs thing was good, wasn't it? It was a good laugh. Can I still get maple from them? I assume you probably can't. Although I don't know. Um, I'll just sell that honey, you know. All the coffee. Oh, yeah. Put all this stuff away just for the time being. Um, oh, I'm gonna take that with me actually, because we're gonna we're gonna buy some we're gonna buy a new bit of house or something, or a new shed. You can get dinosaurs in this. That's a lie. No, you can't. Persuade the Tron. She's lying. You're not. How do you get dinosaurs in this? Actually being serious. Is it through fossils or something? Cold. I need to put my cardigan on. There's an artifact which is a dinosaur egg and if you incubate it... Oh really? What kind of dinosaur? Or do you not know that? Because you're not a true dinosaur fan. <laughs> Little Stegosaurus, that's cute. It's like bloody Jurassic Park in here. Um. Right, construct farm buildings. Here we go. So, we're going to get the oh, sheep and pigs. Or, we've got to get the big shed. We've got to. Um... What was that I was going to do? I'm still cold. Big shed time, baby. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to buy some animals. So we'll go and talk to Marnie. You got an Udeon not sponsored? I'm surprised you're not sponsored, since fucking everyone I know is sponsored by them. Um... Has anyone... Oh, did you actually... I was going to say, has anyone actually got one? But obviously you have. Um, are they worth the... I'm going to give you this. Are they actually worth the um, money? Because they're expensive. Or the, oh, you didn't buy it? Okay. One of the best presents I've ever received. I'm, I'm, I'm sure they must be really good. Hello, Luke. Afternoon. How are you doing? Welcome in. I'm sure they must be good. I know a few people that have been sponsored by them, but it's like... <sighs> it's weird as well, you know, because 
with the people that I've seen that are sponsored by them, I can like sometimes watch someone that I know and go, they're probably going to get sponsored by them soon. Like you can tell the sort of person that they target. like a big blanket yeah but it's like a in hundred quid big blanket <laughs> you know is it is it worth the price do you reckon or you'd love to be me too listen uh listen if anyone from udi is watching um i don't at all think that your products are overpriced um I mean, I've not seen them. I've seen them. I've not bought one or used it. So I'm willing to be, um, I'm willing to be persuaded, um, with perhaps, um, a little help from, um, Mr. 50 pound note or Mr. 50 pound note and his eight friends. Um, is this the way to blanket? I, I don't know if it is weighted. I think they have got weighted ones. I've looked on their website because at first I didn't know what it was. And I knew someone that was doing a sponsored Udi stream. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. I'll have a look at it. I went to the website and I was just like, well, no, I can't afford that. <laughs> I just, it, it's so expensive. Like... Everybody tuck your pants into your socks. Keza, hello, welcome in. Thanks so much for the raid. How you doing? Um, how is your stream? How are you? If anyone's not following Keza. Oh, are you on your golf again? Fantastic. Lovely. How was it? Did you win? Did you do the Winter Olympics one? Because that's my favourite one. I love that one. No, I hope you had a really good time. Thank you so much. If anyone's not following Keza, Keza is an absolute star. She's lovely, um, she's very funny, and she's a fantastic streamer. And also does cooking. Making rainbow cakes. Oh, yeah. That sounds good. Nice. I hope it was good. Um, thank you very much for the raid. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Amazing raid notification. Thanks. I made it myself. I didn't. Um, Snowbuckle, hello. You could probably send Kalish just a message about getting sponsored. I think he said as much on Twitter. He said, uh, oh, what? Send him a message and then you can get sponsored by them? Or something like that? Is that what you mean? Is he in charge of that? <laughs> oh, about how to get sponsored, I see. That's fair. Maybe I'll take a look at it in the future. I still haven't been sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends yet. So, or what's that other one? Stream Raiders. So, um, you know. I'm waiting on those, first of all. Um, hang on a second. There was a bit of a mini up or lately wasn't there streamers raking in 500k a year, whatever, from the basic stream subs and also pushing sponsored stream stuff constantly. Um, fair enough. <laughs> but why is there an uproar about that? If you, you know, I assume the uproar was from people subbing to them, not realizing how much money they were making or something like that. I don't know if that's true or not. But, you know, just don't, uh, just don't sub to them. <laughs> I always say this, unless you really, really desperately need the emotes or something like that. Um, the, like, people with thousands of viewers are making so much money, and not just from, like, subs and donations and stuff, but, like, sponsored stuff and, like, off Twitch stuff as well. Um, uh, giving them, like, two quid a month is like a fart in a hurricane. That's what I say. Um, if you want it, like, I've I've subbed to people who have thousands of subs. I don't anymore, but I have done in the past. Um, so I get it. I get you, you need the street cred. 
of saying, oh yeah, I've subbed to this person for like 10 months or whatever. I get that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was just weird. I don't know who was complaining about it. They must have known no Persuadatron because most of these massive streamers have a sub count on their stream and you just multiply that by what is it 2.5 yeah it's very weird uh, you must know like i know i follow sips and sips has a sub count and i don't know what it is at the moment it must be like 3000 or something like that you just go well just multiply that by 2.5 and that's how much he's making from subs per month then you count in bits as well and then like paypal donations and stuff like that and then sponsored stuff people must know this it's not it, it's barely ever like been concealed you know um whenever i boot up obs my stream elements plugin reminds me of my available raid shadow legends sponsorship oh you just get it through stream elements oh i didn't know that see i don't use that so um yeah pip exactly it's the people that complaining that they're making a load of money who are also giving them the money it would appear i don't think you i mean i, I can't imagine people going oh i don't give this streamer any money but he, they make too much money i i can't imagine people doing that um but yeah sips seems a pleasant fella sips from what i know is a lovely fella yeah um, I started streaming because of him. I watched him and I was like, if he can do it, I can do it. No, that's not what it was like. <laughs> it was just like, I used to watch his VODs on YouTube. And I was always like, God, wouldn't it be amazing to just do something like that? And just log on every day and like play video games and people want to watch you play video games and stuff like that. Have a nice chat with them, have a good laugh. He always laughs. Um, always, he always looks like he's having such a nice time, apart from when he's playing like Planet Coast when he can't figure out the paths or whatever. But um, yeah, that was what sort of made me go, you know what? Maybe I should get in on this. And I got in on it. And look at me now. I'm more popular than Sips. No, I'm not. Maybe. Fair play to the streamers. Pisses me off that Twitch makes the same amount. Yeah. What, yeah, what people should be pissed off about is the fact that whatever the streamers are making, Twitch makes the same amount. Unless some partners negotiate, like, a different split, but very rarely. Um, so, you know. I think this is why it's better to use things like the Streamlabs monthly sub thing and the coffee monthly sub thing, Kofi, Kofi. Um, because you know exactly at that point, if I sub to Sips, I don't actually know how much he's getting for that sub. Whereas if I donate on, like, PayPal, I know. It's a bit more transparent. You know what I mean? None of my actual money out of my pocket goes to anyone making proper bank here anymore, but fair play to them regardless. Yeah, because you know why? The people making bank, as you put it, will continue to make bank, even without people giving them the sub money if they if you know it will never get to a point where they lose like half their subs or whatever um a, a small percentage of people will go well i'm not giving them money anymore because they make too much i'm going to give it to some other people it, like it is it's a drop in the water so you might as well do it and give it to someone who like it means more to i guess not it means more to but do you know what i mean what a pipe dream yeah exactly end of the day being a streamer still being an insane and insane is make a lot of money yeah yeah i just uh, was it really like a weird thing that like was it really a thing people were complaining about that streamers were making too much money because like of course they are <laughs> I thought it was fairly obvious. I mean, I've got... I mean, I don't know how many viewers I've got at the moment. I'm not really bothered about viewers, but look. I mean, it's 64 subs. 
I got 64 subs. That's just Twitch subs. That's not bits and donations and coffee and stuff like that. I usually, and I'm pretty transparent about this, um, make enough from Twitch to like cover my rent. And I'm nowhere near the level of these other people. Um, you know? Like I don't make I don't make a ton of money. Far from it. I don't make anything close to like the equivalent of say minimum wage per hour. But like over the course of a month I can do this and pay my rent. And I've, I mean, yeah. And I'm like nowhere near becoming like a partner or anything like that. So. I don't know. It just confuses me that people were so surprised by it. I don't know. I do live at home, yeah. yeah admittedly, I do live at home. So my living costs are like lower than it's not like I've got like in my own flat or anything like that and I'm paying rent and all these like you know with the bills and stuff like that I basically got like um my rent my phone bill my internet bill I can um claim a bit of it on expenses business expenses um, which is a fun tip for you, if you are a streamer, and you are self-employed. Um, I don't know how much of a percentage you can claim, but it's enough to be worth doing it, is what I'd say. Yeah. When you watch a streamer and they get £50 donated and they don't bat an eyelid, how do people not realise? I don't know. I really don't know. Um... I mean, I watch. I mean, I don't watch a lot of massive streamers, so you know, I, maybe I don't see this so often. But like, I've seen, like, I watch Sips, like you've said, uh, like we've said. If he gets like a fifty pound donation, like he's pretty taken aback by it. Um, anything over like twenty, he seems pretty surprised about. Um, he gets a lot of like five and ten donations which is fair um he still like goes through and like thanks everyone and stuff like that he doesn't thank people for follows or something like that anymore or subs because he'd just be sat there the whole stream thanking people um but yeah it um i've never seen a streamer like get 50 pounds and then just not bat an eyelid, to be fair. But I imagine it does happen. I've seen weird ones where people have gifted, like... Um... Like, 25 gift subs or something like that. And the streamer just went, hey, thanks for the 25 gift subs. And I was like... You know how much money that is? <laughs> right? That's a lot. Marnie's still not here. But maybe, maybe, maybe they are grateful and they're just bad at showing it. I don't know. Not ready for me to say, is it? But when someone, like, if someone subs to me or something like that, uh, maybe I hope it doesn't sound repetitive when I like thank people for it. I, I don't mean it to. But every time it happens, it sort of reminds me that, like, oh shit. Like, someone just gave me money for sitting here playing games. Like, that's crazy. Um, they could have spent that money on anything they, and they gave it to me. Like, that means a lot. That means a fucking ton. You know? It's bananas. Especially when people do it for, like, a year. Um, so I, I, I quite often just don't know what to say. 
and I'm more speechless or whatever. Because I still find it fucking crazy. You know? I can never say I've never got as much as a fraction of a penny from Twitch. I'm mostly giving shitloads now to them and streamers on here. I'm a pure being of light. Untainted by all this grubbiness. <laughs> Good for you, Persuader Troll. <laughs> nice. What am I doing? Oh, you know what? I'm going to give this oak resin to the community center. Boop. I still need to do the rabbit's foot as well. The amount of times I've cried on stream. <laughs> I don't think I've ever. Oh, no, that's a lie, actually. I have them. Um, yeah. I've never cried on the stream in like a good way, but I very rarely sort of cry in a good way, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm like a bit of a robot. <laughs> I don't know. And I feel a bit, I, I sometimes I feel like I don't. Ooh. Get a cough, hang on a second. <coughs> Show appreciation enough. I don't mean to, I don't mean for it to be like that. You know? Oh shit. I got strawberry milk on my trousers. <laughs> I'm like a baby. Um, it still says here Sikandar has my order, so that's a bit weird. You do more than that, though. You give chat, and, you chat and give people company. Sometimes a distraction from things they're struggling with. I mean, thank you, Dane. I, uh, I I'm glad I can do that. I don't know how to word this. I mean, if you have friends or something. Well, actually, I don't know if that makes. I don't know if this backs up your point or not, but I'm going to say something. I don't know if it backs up your point or if it backs up my point or if I even have a point. Um, if you have friends, they do that as well. Do you give them them money every month? I mean, maybe you do. <laughs> this is why I'm saying I don't know if this backs up my opinion or not. Um, you know? Um, that might have been a weird point that I've made, and it doesn't really make sense. And if it doesn't make sense, which I don't think it does actually, I apologise. I don't know. I guess I'm still just a bit, like... Imposter syndrome-y about it. To an extent. Like, do you know what I mean? I think it's a different kind. That's true. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point, Pip. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a fair point. Um, yeah, I wasn't trying to. Oh, shit. I wasn't trying to. I literally just shut as well. Make it like an exact same comparison. Because um, I do know it's not the same, but I don't know. I, this is what I mean. I don't know what point I was trying to make, to be honest with you. I'm going to chop some trees down. Um, Yeah, Persuadatron, I, I think you're right. I, I think you're right. I just think I don't know how to word my point. <laughs> I think with... Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to word it. Maybe I should just give up. Maybe I should just stop.
Because I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Let's just make some coffee and have a nice time. Like that. Poo poo pee pee. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. Let's just leave it at that. You know? Holy crap. Oh, look at all the coffee. Oh, wait, nothing's being made in there. Hang on a second. Uh, give me a apple. As someone who streams myself, I'm not saying that itself a naughty way. No, I know. Um, I gave you a shout out earlier anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> um, it is complicated. Yeah, you get that. F you you probably get what I mean then, where you get that thing where you sort of just go like, I don't know. I I would just feel like I sort of go. You could have spent that on anything, and I guess. I just have a hard time, like, getting my head around it, you know? I mean, we don't have to leave. I'm, I'm not saying leave it in, like, a bad way. I'm just saying I don't know if I've got anything else to say. I don't know if I've got a point. Do you know what I mean? Or if I had a point, I don't know what my point was. Chocolate cake. Nice. Um... Take care, Lane. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. <laughs> it was weird saying that now. Thank you. I I appreciate you being here. It's been lovely. Take care. Have a good rest of your day. Have a good one. Oh yeah, shit. Oh, should we repair my um not repair? Uh watering can. Should we sort out my watering can? Have a good one. Yeah. Oh, you're like this him up. You're northern, aren't you? Although you're not Yorkshire. You like that? You're northern, but you're not you're not the right kind of northern. Holy shit. That is a large <laughs> Oh my god. You lived in Yorkshire for four years, does that not count? I well no it doesn't actually to be fair. I'll give you that. Right, I'm gonna put this down like here. A lot of this stuff just needs moving now. Northern, yeah, ex exactly, northern. All this stuff, I'll just pop it, like, down here. Hey! Deboopy! <laughs> Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Hope I, <laughs> hope I said that right. I don't think I did. Deboopy. <laughs> Good name. Thanks. One of those things I loved when I was in laser was how you guys say one, one. Do you know something, Pip? Um, someone I went to uni with said that to me, and I didn't think it was a thing. I didn't realise that it, that was like a Leeds thing. It must be a very local thing. Um. Because you're not the first person to have said that. Like, uh, but I've never ever realised. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. One. Do you say one? One. I can't. It's one. One. <laughs> I'm going to think about it every time now. Like how now every time I say new look, I realise that I stress the word look. And not the word new. Because everyone made me feel weird for doing that. If anyone doesn't know what I'm talking about. You know the shop? New look. Or is it the shop? New look. 
like which word do you stress when you say it? I always stress the word look, new look. But I know most people I think say new look, new look, sorry, new look. Hey, Deboopy. <laughs> I love that username. That's fantastic. Um, hello. How is your Sunday going? Welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Hope it's uh, hope it's going well. Some of the usernames in here recently are outstanding. Oh, I've run out of space. Hmm. Your best friend does that. I always make fun of her for it. Well, you know what? She's not alone. There are dozens of us who say it like that. Or maybe just two of us. I don't know. Um, probably is just two of us, actually. But, you know. Whatever. New look. New, new look. New look. Because, you know what it happened is, because someone asked where I got one of my cardigans from, and I said I got it from New Look. <laughs> and then that apparently um, means that I am a freak or something. Uh, what am I doing, by the way? I need to start this jam again. Hang on. Where's the... Oh, there you go. Um, <laughs> Sassy Jelly Bean. Some of the usernames in here are fantastic. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Again, completely backing up my point of um, people who like watch Stardew Valley have like infinitely better usernames than people who watch things like Fallout. You know what I mean? They're always like really nice usernames and then the ones you get when you play something a bit heavier or a bit more like, you know, not bad usernames, but just a bit different. Right, hang on a second. I'm going to put this chest here. Okay. I'm going to put all the fruit and stuff in, or the beans at least, in there. I need to sort this out. And that as well. And that as well. Okay, all this stuff. Okay, I'm nearly there. It's going to take another one. You do it like this. Put all that stuff in here. Right. Ba -ba -ba -bum. <laughs> and then I can move that. And I can just pop this down here like that. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, actually get some of these back. Um, been lurking, but enjoying this chill chat today. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you very much for the lurk. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, press the wrong button. Sorry. His persuaded from the hot take. Let's have a read. Right. <laughs> I don't know what it says, actually. This could be terrible. This could be bannable. This could be... The worst message I've ever had in my chat. Let's have a look. Um, the geographical identity thing goes child of Liverpool, Merseyside, or Northern, and half Italian, all parts of me that aren't English. English, British. Pretty much the same. Well, I mean, not the same for me because I'm not half Italian or anything like that. But I get what you mean. Um, yeah. I feel British like last. If that makes sense. Definitely. Um, Keza. Um, it's a bit late. Sorry to be here. I know you're short time. No problem at all. Don't worry about it. Um, I really appreciate the raid. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. Take care. At night at like 2pm. Well, it's Australia. Um, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's like. It's like quarter past midnight or something. <laughs> But um, yeah, take care, uh, Keza. Have a good sleep. Thanks for the raid again. Really appreciate it. No, actually, everyone in this chat is British. Um, that's the law. 
Oh, this is great. I need to make more um, preserve jars, really. Having lived... Oh, having only lived down southwest, anywhere past Bristol is north to me. Although past all the pasties, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about this yesterday, like, what is considered, like, the north and stuff like that. And, um... I don't know if I could draw a line specifically where I think the north is. In fact, let's try it. Let's try and get a map of Britain, right? I'm going to try and draw a line, or a map of England at least, where roughly um, I would say the north, like, ends-ish. Right, let me see if I can do this. Okay, can you see that? That is kind of in the way. Okay, let's do that instead. Here's how I would split it. I would go... I'll try and draw, a, like, a flat line, which might be a bit more difficult than anticipated. I would probably go something like that. Ish. Roughly. That's what I'd say. Um, yeah. You'd say Leeds and above, Steve? A few people have said that, Steve. I always count South Yorkshire as part... Of, all of Yorkshire, I would say, is part of the North. So I think I've got to include, like, Sheffield and stuff. Steve, for reference, if anyone doesn't know, is from, um, like, this place up here. So Steve is very North. Um, everyone's Southern to you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Steve is very North. Um, Steve was here in the utterly deranged discussion on Sheila stream. Oh, I remember that. I remember that. It was, um, deranged is a good word for it, Persuaded Tron. It was really something, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Now, the weird thing is, I always do the line for the north. It's like a diagonal line. It, I don't ever just have it as a, I can't just do it as a flat line like that. I don't think it works. I think you've got to have it sort of angled like that. Um, ish. Because I, I, I think, like, I do think if you've got to include... Um, oh, Jenksy, hello, the other northerner. Yeah. Jenksy, where would you say the north ends? What's the southernmost city in the north? For you, at least. Just out of interest. Steve said it was Leeds. <laughs> Leeds. Weird. Oh, there you go then. So, would you draw a line here like that? Is that how you draw the line, Jenksy? So, Liverpool, Manchester, Sheffield, Grimsby, they're Hull, possibly, are all not north. Um, Snorbuckle, I have, and I could show that actually. Um, because that's very similar to what I would draw it as. Although they do take some liberties with it, because I think they base it on, like, uh, historical things. Um, I love the word Liverpudles, by the way. I think that's fantastic, and we should use that word more often. Um, yeah, let me show you this. Because they have a um, they have a map. Well, it doesn't. Sh this is so. This is their map. Now it doesn't have city cities on it or anything like that. But that's theirs. Um, purely on a map of England. Well, this is the thing, Jenksy. Um, this is another thing. Like what constitutes the North. Because um, it's like obviously like a pure geographical north and south, which you'd probably put at about. I mean, it it goes there, so maybe like that. That's north and that's south. Um, or you've got you know you've got north there, Midlands up to like there, and then that's south. But there's also like I don't know how you'd word it, but sort of like a a, a 
cultural north. I don't know if that's the right word for it. Um, which is what I was sort of basing it on, which I would probably put where that red line is there. Um, has the anywhere north of London better been done yet? It has not. Although yesterday someone was mentioning that someone they knew was from Milton Keynes and thought they weren't in the south, which is a terrifying thought, actually. Um, that was you. There you go. Um, I mean, none of this, it doesn't really mean anything. Like, I'm just, I'm just interested in what people think about it. Because it's obviously like, obviously it's like the geographical, purely geographical, but then like, like I've said, I think there's more of a sort of, I don't know if you'd call it cultural or something like that, which I would put a little further down. And then I put that, I don't know where the Midlands ends, to be honest with you. I would imagine the Midlands ends around there ish you got your north your midlands and your south the north is quite a lot larger than the rest of them having said that um she argues she's not southern southern but says bath that's you can tell her that i've said that she's southern okay please <laughs> but yeah so this is the northern independence party map um which yeah that's roughly what I'd consider it. I think it dips a bit there, but I think that's going along like county lines down there as opposed to like I've just done a straight line. But I mean, if I pop that in here, I'd probably just go like I it, it's what I've said is basically just what have I said? It's sort of like that, isn't it? It's sort of like that. That's what I've put, which is not far off what they've put um yeah anyway i don't know why we we're talking about that but there you go two days in a row as well <laughs> yeah i don't think there's anyone from liverpool that wouldn't consider themselves um northern i'd be very surprised if there was a uh a large amount of people who thought that or anyone, to be honest. Uh, Cutie Patootie 52. Iron helps us play. Thanks for reading the rules. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, welcome in. Hi. Hope you're having a good day. Um, I might change that. Um, um, <laughs> I think it's just... I don't know. I might put something that involves less typing but also is the same amount of uniqueness. We'll have to see. Marnie, can I buy anything off you? My nephew really hates quartz. I didn't ask. Greater Liverpool area, Merseyside is pretty much a cultural island. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Absolutely. Um... So I can under I could possibly understand people labeling that as being different from the north, possibly. But I still think if you're having to put it somewhere like north, midlands, or south, you'd put it in the north. But if also people put it as own as its own thing, um, I just I don't know. I, I don't know if I can get my head around people thinking Sheffield's in the Midlands or not the North at least which implies that it would be in the Midlands I guess I don't know doesn't mean anything anyway like I've said we're just having a laugh oh secret note okay we could do that Anyone trying to tell me I live in the Midlands can get in the sea. Oh, I forgot you were from, um... Doxed? Yeah. I 
I mean, Snowbuckle, you do have a very gruff um, and thick Yorkshire accent. You're from York, but live in Sheffield for the past 10 years. That's fair. Oh, I, lad. Yeah. <laughs> I think I did a clip of your... Um, of you um, saying something like that. It gave me a good laugh. <laughs> gave me a good laugh. <laughs> oh... Oh, I, lad. Because I'm from Yorkshire by definition, my accent's a Yorkshire accent. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, I don't know. I, people ask me about my accent a lot. It, it seems like every stream now, which is fine. I don't mind at all. But my accent is so all over the place. Um, You know? If I said to you all, if if someone, if people don't know where I'm from, I'm not going to tell you. But if you want to guess, I'll give you one hint. And that one hint is I've lived in the same place my whole life. If you can guess where I'm from based on that hint and how I'm talking, um... I don't think anyone's got it accurate yet. I don't think anyone's got it accurate. I mean, some people have got it way off. Some people, like... Ah, treasure chest. Um... Yeah. I can't remember what I was saying there. A lot of people don't say I don't sound Mancunian. I think you do. I don't think... I mean, I... I've only heard you for like maybe an hour or something like that, but from what I've heard, it's not strong, but um, I think you do. I think, yeah. Um, can't hide your Cardiff accent, mate. Yeah, I looked. <laughs> I'm trying to mask it. Um, I'm from the UK, I am. Count to ten real quick. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Would you like me to do that again without laughing? I can't not laugh though, because you've mentioned the thing that I do and I didn't realise. And now I can't unhear it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> one. Would you like me to say one? Pudsy. Jinxy. Um, bizarrely, very, very close. Um, you know where I'm from, though, Jinxy, don't you? You know what city, at least, don't you? One. I didn't realise that was a Leeds thing. Yeah, I mentioned Leeds, yeah. Uh, so I'm from Leeds, if anyone, if anyone can't tell my incredibly strong Leeds accent, which sounds nothing like a Leeds accent other than the word one. But yeah, I'm from Leeds. Um, I've lived in Leeds my whole life. Or in the Leeds area, at least. Generic northerner, yeah. My dad's from Liverpool. So there's a bit of, a little bit of that. Sometimes. My mum's from North Yorkshire. Um, she doesn't sound like it, though, because she was taught to speak properly. Because her mum was taught to speak properly. Because her mum was an arse. Um, so, yeah. It's just sort of slowly filtered down. I was never taught to speak properly. But I think it's just sort of passed down. You know?
You know he's northern too because he said he had a nice dinner. Yeah, <laughs> a nice dinner at noon. Yeah, although to be fair, they don't know that I'm living in the UK. Or they didn't until I mentioned that. I could quite easily have been living in, like, Japan or something. You'd have no idea. I didn't mention it. So, you know. How's that for some food for thought? Bum, ba -dum, bum. How's them eggs? Yeah. How's that for some eggs? Eggs. Sure as eggs is eggs. Yeah. You'll have this in your car if you ever get road rage. Is this just me saying one, two, three, four? <laughs> Wait, how do I say it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, <laughs> one. One. I wonder if that's a Bradford thing as well. Since the two cities are like very close to each other. I wonder if that's sort of made its way through both of them or if it's purely a Leeds thing. I would imagine it's a Leeds Bradford thing or a Leeds area thing at least. Favorite part of the Leeds accent. So is there like what else is part of the Leeds accent? Because I don't really know about this. Which sounds weird, but it's just never something that I've really thought about. Watching the Green Knight reminded me of your stream for some reason. What's that? What's the Green Knight? Got to catch that in the flicks. In the flicks. Persuadatron, have you got a team name yet, by the way? Not the proper flicks. Oh, the cinema flicks. You're looking forward to it. Snowbuckle, you love your films, don't you? I don't know why I'm, I don't know why I said it like that. But I met somebody who didn't know what faffing meant. I imagine sometimes that there's someone who watches this. I try and use words and terms and phrases and stuff like that that are a bit more generic. So, like, for example, if someone's from maybe, you know, the USA or Australia or something like that, they still know what I'm talking about. But one word that I can't seem to shake off is um, faff or faffing or faffed or anything like that. I can't, I, I can't not say that. I don't know. I would love to stop. Um, but I always talk about faffing about. I wonder, like, if people just don't know what I'm talking about sometimes. Faf's a great one, though. Faf's a fantastic. Faf-tastic, if you will. What am I buying here, sorry? I'm gonna buy them. Should I buy an auto-grabber? For, like, the eggs and stuff. Is it worth getting the auto-grabber? Um, too busy faffing about. Yeah. <laughs> Dev Patel's a knight faced with a mad tree guy. Is that the official synopsis? Because that is quite enticing, actually. My Canadian films, like, what the fuck did you just call me? <laughs> Never leaving Mephi Wednesday behind. You'll have to prize for my golden hands. Persuadatron, that can be your team name if you want. My, my point is that the team you are replacing is not Sheffield Wednesday. That's all. You can still have that as your team name. I don't mind at all. Until someone probably Googles what meth means and finds out there's probably some sort of dodgy original meaning behind it and you get cancelled forever. Um... Although I don't know, if, I don't know what the word comes from actually. Um, I know what it means though. Faff's great, serves many purposes, doesn't it? What a faff! Yeah, I say what a faff all the time, constantly. 
I'm rich. It's IMDB official. It just says Dev Patel is a night face with the Mad Free guy. Sounds good. Yeah. I I hope you enjoy that. I hope it's a good film. Let's get two of them. So when you grab them. When you when you when you put these auto grabber things in, where are they storing? Are they are they is it, are these things going to be stored inside the grabber? Or do you have to have a chest nearby? Does anyone know? Because... You have no idea. Well... Fantastic. <laughs> I guess I'll just put it down. There. Will that even have milk in it? Collects all produce. Will that will that collect milk? So automatically harvests from your animals each morning must be placed inside a coop or barn. Does that will that milk them? Is it like an auto milker? Because it's trial and error time. Yeah, I guess it is. Um, it is also they stay in there. Okay. Oh, so it will get milk and it'll just stay in that. So you just collect it out of this. You just collect it out of that. That's quite good. Hello, Tails, by the way. Thanks for letting me know. Appreciate that. I'll also put the shears in there just in case. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that plunge from the top. Yeah. Snowbuckle, I gave you a shout out this morning in a nice way. I don't know why I had to specify in a nice way. I keep doing this thing, everyone, where I talk about Snowbuckle behind his back. Um, and I don't mean to, but it just happens. It keeps happening. I was being nice. I was giving you a shout out because yeah, you're used to it by now, but that doesn't make it okay, Snowbuckle. Okay. The reason I did it is because we were talking about Hollow Knight and Dead by Daylight. Um, and I said, I know someone who's playing both of those games right now. His name is Snorbuckle. And there you go. <laughs> That's sort of it. Um... Not sure whether it's a lifelong LFC fan, it'd be completely self-unforgivable to paint my team over an Evertolian base or a nice bit of patter. I think it'd be a nice bit of patter, sort of like reclaiming it. That'd be my opinion. I have done a red kit for you, like a dark red, like you said as well. So, there's also that. Um, yeah. Cracking games, those. Yeah, I'm at Snowbuckle. I was saying, actually, I don't like playing Dead by Daylight myself. Um, I probably don't know if I'd like Hollow Knight either, but watching you play them is is very enjoyable. It's very enjoyable. I like it a lot. So, thanks. Right. Lurking again to wash up. Woohoo! Thanks for the lurk. Um, I hope it goes by fast. Um, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Pierce23. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Any tips you give to someone who's about to start this for the first time? Yes. Tip the first. Um, probably don't do the river farm. The only reason I say that is because I picked the river farm and now I regret it because there's not a lot of space. Or there's not as much space that I'd like there to be. So I'd pick a different farm. My second tip would be, if this is something you want to do, of course, um, use the wikis because the game sort of throws you in. I don't know if you've played a game like this before. Um, but the game throws you in and doesn't really tell you what to do. 
for someone like me, I was just stumped because I'd never played a game like this before. Use wikis. It's a lot of information. Don't get annoyed if it's a bit grindy at the start, because it is, but it pays off as well. Um, it can, it, you can get, I mean, for the first 15, 20 hours of this, I was just like, this feels very grindy. But now I'm at the point where, like, I know what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, I, I persevere with it and it pays off. Um, any other tips than that? I don't know. I don't know. I think the rest of it is sort of just play it how you want. Don't, um, don't get too stressed out. Take your time with it. That's a good one. That's a good tip. Take your time with it. Hang on, my phone's being weird. Um, I think I lost my charge for the Switch. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, that must be awful. I bet they're really expensive to replace as well because they're like that. I'm very sorry to hear that. Um, I'll paint Everton red. Fantastic, mate. I'll get those kits done tonight. Wonderful stuff. Um, played like 20 minutes on Switch and loved it, but was on, bought it up on PC to stream and haven't yet tried out. I fear how big it is. It is a big game, but you'll get there. You just got to put the time in. Um, it is worth it. It is worth it. Um, you'd say start with the basic farm. See, I've not seen any of the farms, Pierce, so I couldn't really tell you which one specifically to pick. I would just avoid the river one. Um, I will show you my river farm. I mean, there's a lot of water in it, and a lot of that space could be used for farming. Basic farm in the four corners. Pip knows what she's talking about. I would listen to Pip. There you go. Four corners has a little bit of everything. That sounds quite good. Maybe I'll do that next time I play it. That sounds like it would be uh, ideal for me. Look at this. I've got a rabbit's foot and wool. Is that a bundle complete? I need to go to the uh, thing. Do the community centre? Well, I'm doing the community centre. Um, I don't know if that's like a necessity, but I, I know someone that's playing it that is avoiding doing the community centre. Um, just take it in your stride. Don't don't try and do it all at once. Just like when you get the things for the community centre, do it. Here's a big tip for you, and I wouldn't have found this out unless someone told me. If you have an item that is needed at the community centre, right? If you hover over an item, okay, okay, that's the wrong one. If you hover over an item that needs to be given to the community center, do you see this thing here? Do you see that? That's flashing. It's sort of like pulsing. That means that there's something you need to put that in the community center. That's what that means when that pulse is like that. I did not realize that. That's a really good tip. So if you've got something and you're like, ooh, I don't know if it's for the community center, hover over it. So I need to put wool and a rabbit's foot in. So they both hover, but I don't need to put emeralds in so that doesn't, so it doesn't pulse. But that does. That's a very good tip. That's a very good one. Uh, Sakura, hello. Welcome in. How are you? How are you doing? There's an option to have like an Amazon takeover. Yeah. So I've not done that. I'm doing the community center thing just because. I don't know. It's because I. That's how I want to play it. You know? Right. Rabbit's foot. Friendship with the wizard. Gold bars. Fantastic. So I need. I need one of those shells. Truffle and Mackie roll as well. Excuse me. Right, I think the I think it's in here, isn't it? Wool. Oh, I'm close. I'm so close to getting the greenhouse. I need I need goat milk or large milk. Large goat milk or large milk. And then I've got the greenhouse. Uh 
Um, I'm better I was sick watching your last stream. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I'm glad you're feeling a bit better. I'm really sorry to hear that. I hope <laughs> the way you've <laughs> it makes it sound like it was my stream that was the problem. <laughs> like, I watched your stream yesterday and I was sick. No, it doesn't sound like that. But that's what it is. <laughs> It would have been quite funny if you'd said that, actually. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad you're feeling a bit better. That's good to hear. Right. What I would also say for a tip is don't try and do too many things at once, which is what I'm doing, and I'm regretting it. Because I'm trying to make coffee and jam and all this stuff, and it's kind of overwhelming for me. Um... But I'm addicted, so it's my own fault, or something like that. Right? <laughs> you make me sick. Yeah. I was watching your stream yesterday, and I suddenly had the terrible urge to just be sick everywhere. <laughs> oh, the coffee! So much coffee. Right. Sell? I don't know what to do with the treasure chest. I might Google that. Sell, sell. Um, sell the coffees. So the coffees and the jams are how I'm making the money this winter. Um, that's another thing. Things don't grow in the winter for the most part. So get try and grow some coffee or fruit and make some jams um, in the winter to make a bit of money. That's a good one. Just save it up throughout the year. Then in the winter, just do jams and stuff. Um, that's what I'm doing at least. This is very chilled. I'm glad I found your stream. Oh, I, I'm glad you're liking it. Thank you. I try and keep it chill in here. Sometimes I get a bit annoyed, but that's usually the game's fault. <laughs> also, Johnny Discord. Oh, thank you. I'll have to um, I'll have to go in there afterwards and manually um approve it because sadly in my discord we've had some um arseholes try and join what am i doing down here oh yeah i was gonna go to the beach had some arseholes join so i've i'm doing like a manual vetting process now it's nothing to worry about as long as you just put your twitch username in the introduce myself channel um that's all you need and I'll, I'll put you in. How'd you upgrade your tool? So yeah, there's a toolsmith. Yeah. Um. So over here in the town, up here, there's a toolsmith here. You need to bring with you the materials needed, which is usually I think the starts copper and then iron and then gold and then there's probably stuff after that. Um. And like, depending on what the upgrade is, a few thousand gold. And I think it takes like three days for them. Oh, the shells! Fantastic. Right, here we go. Lovely. Um, how do I do the manual thing? What's the uh, what's the manual thing? Sorry. Oh, the Discord. Um, God, it's a bot called. Is it Me Six? If you've seen that. There's a bot called Me6. If you if you use that bot, there's an option on their website where you can basically say, when this person joins this Discord, give them like auto assign them this role. You assign them that role, but then you change that role so they basically can't see any of the other channels other than the ones you want them to see, and you make it so so I've made it so they can't post pictures. Um, they can't post links. They can only post in like the introduce yourself channel, um, and stuff like that. So I think my role is called like waiting list when someone joins, and then after that, I can just go to the go to that profile and just go right, change that role to whatever. 
it's a bit of a faff. It is a bit of a faff. Um, but it's worth it. It's worth me doing that and sorting that out than the problems that I had before. You know? I'm not that bad. <laughs> yeah, it's you, mate. You're the one causing all the problems. You've had some dickheads before. Yeah, I got some when I was... Um, playing Jackbox. And they came into my Discord and posted a load of... Um, like, gore. And shit like that. And then they put in my chat, check your Discord. Oh my god, it's 1am. Shit. So, yeah. That was shit. So it is, I, I think it's better to do that. If you're, you know, if you've got like a little Discord or anything like that, I do think it's good to add like some layer of security. Um, what's my computer name? So my computer is, um, custom, custom built. So I haven't got like a computer. Uh, my specs are in a panel below my stream. If you're watching on desktop or I don't know where they show up on mobile, but, um, if you're wondering about specific like components, they should all be in that little section. But my computer is, um, my friend built it for me, so it's not like one I've just bought. Sorry. Um, were you aware Me6 is a Rick and Morty reference? I was not, no, but that does make sense, actually. Um, yeah, that makes sense. I wasn't aware, though, no. Does make sense, yeah. You wouldn't go through a pre-build? It is, well, my brother went through a pre-build, and it's not bad, but, like... It costs more, um, I think. Whereas, well, my friend built mine for free, so it's not really the same. But all my stuff cost in total about £800. I think if you bought this PC, if you bought it, like, as a pre-built thing, it would probably cost, like, a little over a 1000 maybe. I don't know. Um... One thing I've had people ask is in an NSFW channel, and I was like, no, when I, why would I do that? I don't want to open my Discord and see porn. That's fair. That's a very weird thing to specifically request. Do you not think? I mean, I think I'm in. I, I think I know some streamers that have a Discord with that kind of stuff in. It's not like anything like bloody hell, but it is like you wouldn't look at it at work. But yeah, no, I get what you mean. It's a very odd thing to sort of just request. Iridium bar. Okay. I've not had anyone request that in my Discord, and that's probably for the best. Um. Oh, look at that. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I'm full up. Shit. Probably, um, yeah, it's for the best that no one's asked, because I'd say no. Mo most of the reason because I'd just be like, what the hell are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, it's uh, that's a very odd thing to request. Um, there's plenty of discords where you can talk about the stuff anyway. Just join one of them, you know? Thing for pre-builds is some of them are made by companies, Alienware, so on. Part of the time, the cost comes from the branding. That is true. That's true. Um, how long am I streaming for? So I will probably wrap up. Um, I normally finish about four. Sometimes a little bit earlier, sometimes a little later. So I would say maybe about an hour. I'll be on for about another hour, something like that. Maybe. Roughly. Um, oh yeah, I need to sort this out. Oh, but I can't collect the mayonnaise because the infantry's full. Ah, oh, shit. 
I'll put the coffee beans away for now. Yeah, I streamed for quite a long time. I hope that's okay. I mean, of course it is. Don't... Don't eat the egg. I need to sell some of this stuff. I will get using the Discord um, as soon as I'm done streaming. I've not got it open at the moment. But I will do. Um, yeah, if you just put your username, your Twitch name in the... Uh, there's a channel that says introduce yourself. Just put it in there. You can add other information in there. Just don't go overboard with it. I think there's a template. If you look at the pinned message. Um, if you don't... If you really don't know what to put. Um, what am I getting rid of here? None of that, actually. I need to put this stuff away. Um, I've seen someone as a channel point redeemed to just stop the stream. <laughs> That's amazing. I, <laughs> I'd love to... Like a million channel points. Um, just delete your account. <laughs> Something like that. That's fantastic. Um, <laughs> give up, yeah. 100,000 points, just just stop. Oh, redeeming it. What if, you, what if someone redeemed it during like a sponsored stream? What about that? Uh, let me get the coffee back out, by the way. Coffee and jam. That's all I need. Mute the streamer's mic. I've seen ones like that, yeah. Um, seen someone who will freeze and not speak for Channel Point Redeem. That's quite weird. I tend not to have Channel Point Redemptions like that, just because I find I've had ones like that are quite sort of intrusive in the past, and the streams always felt very disjointed. And that wasn't my kind of vibe. So I sort of stopped doing that after a while. Sadly. Need to lurk to get something to eat. I'll be back. Thanks for the lurk. Have a good food. Have a good food. Yeah. Have a good food. Hope you have a fantastic food. And yeah. Right. Let me put that away. Let me put that away. Let me put... I just need to organise it, don't I? So the eggs can get sorted out. Community centre. Hate the ones like that because it makes me feel like Dance Monkey Dance. Yeah. I get that. I get that. Um, The hats are from... I'll show you in a second. We'll go down there. They're from a little house sort of in the bottom left of the map. Um, but I think you unlock them through getting, like, achievements in the game. I think. You have random sounds and it shows from YouTube clips. Yeah. I mean, I'll show you mine. Let's check this out. Put it, go back. Let's, let's hear it in the track. track. Let's hear it in the track. <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> There you go. In other words, okay, we'll have a McDonald's for itself, really. That's it. That's all I've got. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but I. Uh, that is just like quite often I used to have channel point redemptions that would get a bit boring or a bit grating after a while. That one I've had for months and I never get bored of it. Um, how come some of the items have styles like gold and purple ones? So I think they just mean like they're higher quality um, and they'll like sell for more. So like a purple egg sells for more than a gold egg, which sells more than a silver egg. I think that's how it works. I'm not entirely sure. I think so though. Liam, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Just watching the peg making off video. Oh, it's good, isn't it? Have you got to the bit with Michael McDonald yet? 
I'm Michael McDonald. And the bit with the um where he talks about the bass slapping. And he had to hide it from them. Is it Ch Chuck Rainey? I know too much about this stuff, I'm sorry. Let's go and um, see the hat person. Let's show you the hat person. It's down here somewhere. I don't know why I'm holding a bit of wood above my head. Oh, look, we can talk to this, but this isn't the person, but we can we can get stuff from this person, actually. Um, an octopus, a tulip, a large egg, an egg, chowder, chowder, a beer, a rare crow. Should we get, I'm going to get the rare crow. Um, nice, chowder. It's chowder. I love doing that impression. It's somewhere down here. I think. I think if you follow this river down. Yeah. So there's a little house here, look. That says hats. And it's like a little... Is it a cat or a mouse? I'm not sure. Depending on what achievements you get, it sells different hats. Um, so I'm wearing the blue bonnet. Because of course I am. But I've also got like the cowgal hat and stuff like that. It's good. Nice. I might just chop some of this down actually. It's 1 pm. Just one second, hang on. Oh, okay. I got a PayPal notification. I was like, oh shit. But it's because I... It's because I, uh... Got Uber Eats. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. Oh, it's so nice, this game. Do you remember when I first started playing it? And I was like, oh, I'm not sure about this. But then I said... Give it like a couple of weeks and I'll be like, remember when I said, oh, I'm not sure about this? That's what's happening right there. This is me saying, you know what? It was worth it. Quite a bit of grinding and stuff. Some things that I wasn't thrilled about, but it's all worth it for chopping down the trees and stuff. Weeks have been given. Excuse me. Have I streamed long? Um, do you mean uh, today or like just in general? Like when did I first start? You said give it a couple of weeks. They've been given and the benefits reaped. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. When did I start in general? So I probably started maybe about two years ago now. Um, yeah, probably about two years ago. Uh, but I didn't stream as often as I do now. I maybe streamed like twice or three times um, a week until I got affiliate in like December. And then at the start of 2020 was when I started doing more like four or five days a week. And now I do, like, <laughs> six or seven days a week. It's just like a routine. Um, do you legit like Stevie Dan? Yes. Because <laughs> I've been into it since I was, like, 19. And I was mad into Joy Division since, like, 16, 17. I've liked Stevie Dan since I was about 19. You give me one moment, everyone. Sorry. Um, yeah, I started liking CB Dan about 19. Um, I never quite got into Joy Division, to be honest with you. It wasn't my cup of tea. But 
But um, yeah, I do like I uh, the T-shirt and the stuff. It isn't ironic. <laughs> if that's what you were thinking, it wasn't like an ironic T-shirt. For those who don't know, I've got a I've got a a T-shirt of that famous album cover from Joy Division. Um, is it Unknown Pleasures? You know the one, the it's like a black background and there's like white lines on it. Um, is it Unknown Pleasures? But uh, the the writing at the top just says um, Steely Dan instead. You can get a lot of t-shirts like that. There was one I was looking at actually where instead of the normal writing at the top it just said like, it, I think it just said Frasier. <laughs> I was tempted. Can you not go down there? That's kind of annoying. Right. Let's keep going with this. Amazing debut album is too. I mean, as as it sounds odd, but I know. But I, I'm not into it. Just personally, I'm into a lot of crap though, and I I'm into a lot of crap, and I don't like a lot of good things, or what would be considered good. So don't take my opinion too personally. <laughs> it's just I don't know. But um, yeah, it's one of the ones people talk about a lot when they talk about like good debut albums, definitely. I don't mean to sound like I'm poo-pooing on it. Far from it. Just, well, there's loads of things that I don't like that everyone else likes. Uh, most films, so, you know. Right, let's sort out this mayonnaise. Tremendous, by the way. Uh, where's me coffee beans? There you are. Oh, there you go. Um, most of it's Martin Hannett's visionary production, to be fair. A lot of... What was that? Oh, it's just a... Producers don't get enough credit, I don't think, a lot of the time. People might disagree with that. Maybe people think that producers do get enough um, credit. I don't think they do. A, a good producer is a massive, massive difference. I can't think of an, like, an analogy that quite works, but it means a lot. You'd be surprised. Um, you love coffee? Me too. <laughs> Me too. You like some of the coffee I'm making then? Because I'm making tons of coffee every day in the winter. I'm making a ton of money. Oh, you like tea, not coffee? That's fair. I like both. I've always been more of a coffee person. Um... Tea's alright though. What's that? Fried calamari? Ugh. No thanks. No thanks. Um, we could probably just sell them then, can't we? And probably the rabbit's foot as well. Some people say it's lucky. I'll just sell it. McDonald's Froppies for all. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Some of the names of these bots you're banning, tall nerd. Squishy Butt. I was raised in a coffee household. 
When I did work experience at 14, the people in the office were amazed. I had to be instructed how to make a tea. Oh. I never did work experience. Our school stopped it before they gave us the chance. I think the year above me was like the last year that they gave the opportunity to. They never gave us the opportunity to do it. Um, sorry, I'll pause it. I've missed a bit of chat here. I love both tea and coffee. I love both cats and dogs. I'm a bridge builder. Yeah, me too. Me too. I have preferences out of them, but like, you know, I love them both. Uh, out of curiosity, do you ever do any of the tasks or whatever from the convenience store? I tend not to, Matt, at the moment. And the reason for that is I've just got too much to be doing. Um, I find the the tasks are usually either not worth it. Like, you can buy someone a Coca-Cola thing and give it to them and they'll give you 75G. But the Coca-Cola itself costs 75G. It just doesn't seem worth it. Especially when you're trying to make money. Um, possibly later on I'll start doing that stuff, though. I'm not sure. Let's see. Hope they're actually bots. Are you... They must be bots, surely. Why would you have banned them if they're not bots? Might have just want something to do. That's fair. No, you checked the bot website, didn't you? You fucking better have done. By the way, if anyone doesn't know this website, if anyone's a streamer and doesn't know this website, get a look at that. Actually, that's kind of a lie. I don't think the majority of them are used for targeted hate raids, but they're a nuisance at best. You know? You have it in a tab at all times, Snowbuckle. I mean, I don't know if you... Uh, my mods do it for me, Snowbuckle, when they feel like it, which sounds like I'm calling them lazy, but I'm not, because every now and then they'll just have a look through it and just go, um, yeah, I need to ban these people. It's a good website. I don't think they're used for hate raids, but they don't count as views. So, like, if you've got one of those bots in your in your channel, they don't count as a view. For the most part, they're actually just used, so you'll click on them and follow them, because they probably stream themselves, or want to stream themselves in the future. Um, and so, you know, if they go into 10,000 chats, of those 10,000 people, they might get like 100 followers, because people might look at them and go, oh look, they're in my chat, I'll give them a follow. Or they might sell their accounts later on. They might like wait until they've got a few thousand followers and then just sell the account. Stuff like that. They're a nuisance at best. Um, at worst, though, some of them are used for those like hate raid things and stuff like that. It's better to just ban them all. Um, there's no point of having them in your chat. It just it also, if you've got mods. I mean, I don't know if, what my mods think about this, but I imagine if you've got a viewer list that's got. 20 names in and 15 of them are bots who aren't even there it's probably a nuisance whereas like if you get rid of them you can just see the people who are actually in the chat which would be a lot easier from a modding perspective that might be right i don't know what people think about that yeah anyway it's basically a pin tab on my chrome at this point yeah i think it's i think i've got it bookmarked um, it's a very good website. It's a very, very good website. They're not actually... Because if someone's on that website and then in your channel, they're not actually watching you. It's just, a, it's just a bit of kit they've set up. Um, doesn't like the cut of the jib. <laughs> What's a jib? Classic. Um... It was a Simpsons reference, mate. Yeah, sorry, I I knew that full nerd. It wasn't it wasn't completely um, wasted. <laughs> Jib something off. Yeah, I think that's a very that's um, I think that's a very Scouse thing, or like that sort of area at least. I don't think that's used anywhere else.
to, to jib something off. Or I think I've heard jib it as well, as in like, um, it's sort of used as sort of like a shut up or stop sort of thing. I could be wrong there. Persuade each one if you know the answer to that. Um, do let me know. Um, wood. Oh yeah, it's used in Manchester as well, isn't it? Actually, that's, I've heard that, but I think it's used in a different. Yeah, I've I've heard it used um, in that in that exact context. Yes. Um, oh, I've got wood on me. I've definitely used it heard in that context. Um, I think that is just a Manchester thing. To be honest. So yeah, um, yeah, weird. I I know a couple of things like that, either from like people that I've known, or like I've got a lot of family in Liverpool, so I know certain words that might not get used elsewhere, like Persuadetron. Uh, you keep saying uh, Meffy Wednesday. A lot of people might not know what a meth is. Uh, by the way. Big Fat Hen, was that you? Thanks for the host. Thank you for the host, Big Fat Hen. Appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. Um, Zach, hello. How are you? And also Grunio, hello. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in. Um, What was I doing? Iron. There you go. You, uh, you always forget that emote exists. <laughs> Uh, used for stability and navigation. I didn't actually know what it was. Um, I've just heard the word. <laughs> all these mefs. <laughs> my dad used to call me a meth all the time. All the time. I used to go to school and my tie was a bit... like, off or something like that. It'll fix your tie, you meth. Uh, one of the names of your livestock. Um, we'll go through them. I think they're mostly just people in chat, Zach, um, at the moment. I will go through them. Apart from Len. Yeah, apart from Len. Len, because we had to have a chicken called Len. Of course we did. Um, other than that, though. Uh, what was I doing with that? Oh, yeah, I want to upgrade my watering can. Okay, that's fine. Um... I'm back with pita bread. Oh, nice. Just just pita bread or just pita bread or, or like is it got has it got cheese in or unless Len is actually irregular. Imagine that. Imagine that. I think I need to get more iron bars actually. And jalapeno hummus. Mmm. Gourmet. You'd have so many questions, yeah. I I, I don't want to get too morbid, Nerv um, Nervatron. Tall nerd. Because Nervatron's got a blue name now. I don't want to get too um, morbid, but he's probably dead now. Um, <laughs> sorry. Am I married in Stardew? I'm not, but I'm in the process of um, wooing. I don't know why I use that word. Uh, Abigail, because I want to learn how to cheat at the egg contest. <laughs> That's it. Also, everyone else hates me. Um, say that again. Jalapeno. Jalapeno. I know it's jalapeno. I just call it jalapeno because I think it's funny. That's a bit from Trailer Park Boys, if anyone's watched that. Anyone ever watch Trailer Park Boys? I got it from that. Because it really made me laugh. So someone asks for uh, jalapeno crisps or chips or whatever they say there. <laughs> jalapeno. I always say it now, just instinctively. He'd only be about 80, do you reckon? Uh, do you wonder if you could get his full name and we could like do an extensive... I mean, that's such a weird thing to do, but it's possible. 
we can actually find out if he's dead or not. That's such a fucking morbid stream idea. Here we go. We're going to find out. Remember that old video of Len on catchphrase? Here we go. Let's do a stream where we find out if he's dead or not. <laughs> Horrible. You married Shane? Oh, really? I... People have mixed pe uh, mixed peelings. <laughs> People have mixed feelings about Shane in here, and I understand why. I've been told he's misunderstood. Um, whether or not that's true, I don't know. We'll have to see. It'll be a it'll be a a nice surprise. He's probably in his 50s, yeah. I'm bad at guessing ages. So. Why am I doing... No. I was going to go upgrade, upgrade my watering can, but it's dark now, so I can't. Um, yeah. Your alky husband. <laughs> Is he an alcoholic? In the game. I was going to say, do they have alcohol in Stardew Valley? But of course they do. He is. He has a very depressing story, so I can't deal with that. That's fair. Oh, he goes to rehab. But I've only interacted with him a couple of times, and it just it, he just sounds like an arsehole. Clearly, I'm missing some of the, uh, the story there. Don't eat the plum. There you go. Oh. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, we're well, ready. My coffee's ready. Interesting that they all turn up in mugs as well. They they just automatically get put into mugs. It's it's genius, really. Lenzipsa was nineteen ninety eight. Oh, really? Do you reckon if you Google Len catchphrase, he'll... No, I'm not going to bother. I want to find Len. Try giving him beer or a pizza. I mean, if he's an alcoholic, I don't want to give him a beer. I'll give him a pizza. A lot of the characters have interesting backstories. Yeah. I hope Abigail does. Because... <laughs> She's the one I'm uh, wanting to marry. Len Goodman from Strictly. Len, catch phrase. Do you have the exact date? Full nerd. Leonard. Adrienne versus Leonard. Is it this one? Adrienne. The title is literally called Adrienne versus Len. Um well does it have does it have a cast or anything? May the second, nineteen ninety-eight. I'm gonna look into that. I'm gonna find Len. I wanna find Len. It's th it's this one. Adrian versus Len. <laughs> this guy. May the second, nineteen ninety eight. Um yeah, I'll give him pizza. I need to figure out how to make a pizza, I think. Only thing about this game that weirds me out is the undulating barrels. Yeah, doesn't sound too good, does it? I see that bean seasons paid off. It has. Yeah, it must have been that bean I had for dinner. <laughs> Where do I get hard wood? So you get it in. I'll show you. It's it's the large tree stumps. The large tree stumps. Um, hello, Jamie. How are you, by the way? Welcome in. Yeah, I'm, I'm rich now. Beyond my wildest dreams. I have my nice mutant carp. Poppy seed muffin. I think Leah likes those, doesn't she? Um, yeah, you have to upgrade your tools first. Yeah, I think you need iron or steel or whatever it's called. Possibly just copper, though. I'm not sure. 
Festival of Ice is a celebration of winter that we snowmen, ice sculptures and an ice fishing competition. Okay, sure. Um, literally going to ask if this is your first time playing Stardew. <laughs> That's fair. Honestly, I've done something very similar before. Where I've asked a question which was answered in their stream title. I am very bad at paying attention to stream titles, actually. Copper for the stumps and iron for the big logs. Ah, there you go. So just copper, which doesn't take too much um, upgrading. Why has this stuff not been picked up then? Why has this produce not been picked up? Oh, look at this. Oh, wait, is everything full? I can't pick that up. Oh, I'm full up. Hang on a second. Who have we got? Look, we've got out with there. There's Len. Pingle. <laughs> Pingle. Um, Nightlights is there. Got. Oh, wait, it's Nightlights again. Wait, what? There's Pip. Bumper, uh, Jules, Lanes there, Cactus, uh, Sophie, uh, Lior, and Tien. Pingle. Uh, Pingle's the best. Pingle's my favourite. Sorry, Pip. <laughs> just, just said that right in front of Pip. <laughs> Pingle. Pingle's the one who I figured out. Who's No, Pingle's the one who swam first, and I didn't realise they could swim. So Pingle has a special place in my heart. And then milk. Large milk. Oh, large milk. I need that. I need to put some of this stuff away, though. I'm sorry, Pip. You're all my favourite, but Pingle did something that no duck had ever done before swam in front of me right let's sell some of this stuff shall we or put it away at least never knew they swam yeah they do how to unsub from someone <laughs> this isn't google yeah what a terrible mistake for you to make what a boo boo. Look at all the eggs and stuff. Yeah, they. I think it might just be because I've got a river one or something. I'm not sure, but they, they all swim. They all swim. It's very cute. Look at this. They're all happy as Larry. And I don't even know who Larry is, but I assume that they're very happy. Probably Larry, Larry King. He's probably pretty happy right now. Um, unless that's the one that died, in which case he's probably not that happy, actually. I don't know. Did he die? Did he go the way of um, old Brucey? He's dead. Oh. What about Larry David? Is it greenhouse time? I believe yep, it is. Greenhouse time. Get some more resin here. Look, oh, look at the oak resin I'm going to get now. All the kegs that I can make. That means I can grow crops in the winter. Oh, fantastic. I don't know what crops I'll grow, but I might grow cactuses. How about that? Cactuses? Cacti? Um, can someone let me know if I should just sell the treasure chest? Is that is something that I should just sell, or does anyone know? Yeah, just sell it. Okay. Nice. Thanks for letting me know. Um, so I will sell milk and milk and that as well. I think I might need a chest for, like, animal produce, you know? I'll change the colour of it. Um, we'll make it white. So we'll put all the eggs and stuff in here. That we're not using for the time being. Um... 
Although I do need the eggs actually for the mayonnaise, so I don't know why I did that. But the wool and stuff we can put in here. All right. I can go in there. I will take that out as well. Okay. Yeah, you can move the shipping bin. I think it's a. I think it was in an update that you can move the the shipping bin. Lovely. Bam, ba, bam, ba, bam, bam. Do it through Robin. Yeah. Yeah, you do it through Robin. Right, watering can. Let's get that sold. Not sold, upgraded, sorry. Because I did say I was going to do that. It's a little bit... A little bit over... I'm th I, think, I just feel like I'm trying to do too much, you know? But I think we'll get there. I'm going to sneeze. That's me. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Oh, I've seen that. I'm um, Zach. I really want to install the diversity mod, and I keep being like, "Oh, I can't be bothered," because um, it tells me that I have to install like other things to install that, and to install the other thing, I have to install another thing, and at that point, I sort of just tuned out. <laughs> the next time I play it. Oh yeah, here we go. A cheese press. A lot of steps, yeah. I've, I mean, I've modded games. I've modded Skyrim and stuff like that. I've, so you know, I know how to do it. It's just the effort of going through it. I can never be truly bothered. You know. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. Two left. Two. The fish. Oh yeah, and then that one. Oh, wait, what? Oh, the bulletin board, of course. The bulletin board and the fish. So all I need for that is a Mackie roll and truffle. And then for the fish, I need a load of stuff. Um, gives Linus a helper dog who threw a bug can request help with the job board. And then speaks English. Nice. Yeah, some of the mods for this I've heard are incredible. Really good. Um, you bought new fishies. Oh, night lights. What kind? Welcome back. Same with Sims mods, because you get to reinstall them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's so annoying, isn't it? Yeah. That's why I stopped using Sims mods. Just, just it annoys me. <laughs> right. Pro? No, actually, don't do that just yet. Acknowledge my geode first. Oh, I don't think I've got that yet. Dolomite. <laughs> I'm just thinking of Dolmio. Sorry. Um. Here we go. Get that done. Two sailfin mollies and a plico, plico, pleco. Nice. Very cute. <laughs> it doesn't really give you enough space to. Oh, you can actually move it up and down. I didn't realize. I've not got. I mean, I've got all these to do as well, actually, so. Send photos, please. By all means. Off now to drive virtual cars. Enjoy the rest of the human. Bye bye. Good luck, TN. Don't crash. 
Um, don't get any drive through penalties. Um, so on and so on, you know? Take care. Good luck. What time is it? 38. I might make this my last day for today. Um, I feel like it would be... A, yeah, because we've finished on a week as well. So we've done dead on three weeks. Um, which is perfect. Because I sort of try and aim for that. Oh, the next bit to the right is empty? Yeah, I always forget about that. Uh, Robin. Quick, before the place closes. <laughs> oh, it's going to shut now, isn't it? I bet. Oh, no, thank God. Need something built? I do. I don't know what. What are we getting? We're going to get the upgraded... Um, the deluxe barn. Yeah. Unlock sheep and pigs. And we need pigs for truffles. So let's get that built. Also, pigs are just the cutest, so... Maybe I'll just get pigs. Start working on your little barn upgrade. Day after tomorrow. I always take festivals off. Lazy. But oh, okay. I'm going to buy that. And that. I'm gonna buy all these recipes and stuff, you know. Why not? There you go. Damn unions. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Pigs are very profitable in this game. Nice. Yeah. And they're just like the best animal, so. Pigs and cows. That's what I'm all about. Well, farm animals at least. They're very cute. They really are, aren't they? Play some music game. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Horses overrated? I, you know what? I agree with that. I don't really like... Well, I don't not like horses, but I'm not overly um, bothered about them, to be honest. So if I put a... If I put this... here... It includes all of the... So I can make more kegs and stuff? Fantastic. That's pretty good. No animals overrated. All agree. Animals are pretty good. I think comparatively speaking, some don't get as much love as others should. How am I going to do this? I've only got three. That's kind of a weird one, isn't it? Well, there you go. Need some more coffee beans. In we go. Ugh, get all these. Should we make some really good ones? Gold star coffee. This can be our, our gold star range of... Um, Codlington coffee for human consumption. Right.
Yeah, I have a lot. I mean, I spent all spring and summer. Um, trying to um, grow them. <laughs> so I've got loads, yeah. Um, used to be a horse girl, really. Sorry to hear that. Should build a stable soon? Yeah, I might do that, you know. I might do that. Yeah, I have a lot. <laughs> I have a lot of um, a lot of coffee. It's worth it though. It's good. Sells for a lot. Uh, someone just owned a horse and kept it in a field near the bridge and railway around hours when I was a kid. Really? Just owned a horse. What do you when you own a horse? What do you do with it? Is it just a pet? Or espressos? The thing I found out, Jamie, is that you sell a coffee for 150 gold, okay? Three coffees make an espresso. You sell an espresso, it's 450 gold. So for selling purposes, I'm just selling them as coffees because there's no... Yeah, if you're making them to drink them, that's fine. But because uh, I'm just selling them, there's no point. Which is kind of stupid. Um, used to go and feed a bit of carrot and my granddad's Lucasade tablets. What does that mean? <laughs> What's a Lucasade tablet? I don't think I'm familiar with this. Before we get to the stage of why were you feeding a horse Lucasade tablets, I want to know what a Lucasade tablet is. Is it just like Lucasade put in tablet form? Because um, the horse is like that. I'm going to sell some more of this stuff. Hang on. Sell. Um, sell. 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 Okay. Uh, eggs, hold on to the eggs. Anything in there? I need to plant these acorns, probably. I might hold on to those acorns, actually. I might just hold on to them. Um, anything in there? No. Not really. And then... Wait. I missed this one. <laughs> Shit, there you go. Um, stone, can put that away. Put the wood away. I've not got a lot of wood anymore. I've just realized I've only got five wood. They put the calendar away. Um, the rest of it is just eggs and stuff, actually, I think. Eggs, a couple of machines. Um, okay, well, you know what? Let me put that away. I'll put you there instead. Nice. Because I can do that then. It's back in tablet form. Yeah. <laughs> Zombie Oscar, hello. Welcome in. How are you doing? Nice to see you. I am actually about to end in about five minutes. Sadly. Um, but regardless. Appreciate you peeing here. Did I just say being here or peeing here? If I said peeing here, I'm sorry. I think I said being here. I'd, uh, weirdly enough, that's not the stupidest thing I've said today. Um, so, you know. It could be a lot worse. Oh, it was used to make, glu used to make glucose tablets. Oh, I see. I didn't know that. Horses were mad into them. I had no idea. Here we go, look at this. Nice. And with that, I think I can go to bed. No, eggs. 
There you go. Now I can go to bed. <laughs> That's a good reference, by the way, Snowbuckle. Sorry, I hope it didn't sound like I was overlooking it. It's very good. Okay, bedtime. And that's probably it for today. Let's see how much money I made overnight. Hopefully I get back to 100 grand. Oh yeah. Stay, um, greenhouse tomorrow. Which will be good. So, tune in for that. How was your day? My day was good, thank you. Um, is it, it is Emily, isn't it? Am I, am I saying that right? Um, yeah, I've had a good day. How's yours been? Hell yeah. Do you stream most days? I do. I stream... Um, yeah, you know what? Let me check, actually. Let me... Look how much money I just made. Let me check, um, like, my active um, day thing. Because, look, I can show you a timetable, like a calendar date. Take a look at this, right? This is how often I stream. If you've not seen this. So we're here, right? All the days that are not, like, filled in. So all the dark ones, like this one. That's days that I don't stream. The vertical lines are weeks. And then, obviously... This is 2021, so, I mean, I don't know, does that, what does that look like? I, I miss one, I mean, so I missed two days since September the 2nd. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that sounds a lot, that sounds, that, <laughs> I just realized how bad that is. Um, last year, it was the same as well. I think there was a period between, is it, so December the 3rd and October the 13th, where I missed uh, one day, which was November the 15th, which is when I went to see my grandma for her birthday. Was it? No, it wasn't, because that was 2020. That is my grandma's birthday, though. That's... Th the day when I, that's the, I took one day off between October 13th and, oh, yeah, and December the 3rd. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I stream most days. I've got nothing else to do. I don't, I, I used to do this thing where I'd stream, like, no matter what. I stopped doing that now. Um, if I need a day off, I know when I need a day off. If I need a day off, I'll take a day off. Or I'll do like a short stream. Quite often I do something like that instead. Um, put some music on. Yeah, I like to do like a short stream or something instead. Um, I I know like... It's music. Sorry. Um, yeah. I know like my limits and stuff now. So I know like when I need a day off and I know... I don't do that thing I do any I used to do where I was like, oh my god, if I take a day off, but what 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 if I would have got a raid with like a thousand people? Like I used to think like that. Um I don't anymore. Which is good. Um because that kind of messed me up a bit. Which was shit. So yeah. Um Right. Hey everyone. Hi. Thanks for being here. I'm going to run the credits because um, I like doing that. And we're going to try and um, I'm going to try and do it all before it flies off the screen. Right, you ready? Liam, Pierce, Sassy Jellybean, the Boopy, <laughs> that grandma, the Kazumi, Proleti Betty, and oh my god. Thanks for the followers. I like that username. Big Fat Hen, thanks for the host. And Keza, thank you for the raid. I really appreciate that. Um, thanks. Thanks for being here, everyone. If you're new, um, it's been lovely to meet you. If you're not new, it's been lovely to not meet you, but have you here again in the chat, stream, words, English, language. Hey, thanks. I'm glad you liked it. Um, it was lovely. Yeah, 
Sorry, I don't know. I'm doing that because I'm a bit tired. I had a lot of McDonald's. I've still got my milkshake and my apple pie as well. I'll be enjoying them tonight. This music's a bit loud. Yeah, thanks. It's been lovely. Um, thanks for streaming. Glad I found you. Pierce, it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, lovely to meet you. I'm glad that um, you popped in and gave me a chance. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, if you can, hang about. Please do. We're going to try and find someone to raid, okay? Zach, thanks for the host. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Zach. Um, thanks for streaming. Please take care of yourself. Um, thanks for being here, Emily. You take care of yourself too. Everyone take care of yourselves. Yeah, Jamie. Exactly. Thanks. Thanks, Zach. <laughs> thanks for the host. <laughs> Means a lot. <laughs> right. Here is what we're going to do. I don't think... I'm going to raid someone who is playing Stardew Valley because there's someone online who I want to raid, who I follow, who I wanted to raid. I found them playing Planet Zoo and I never got a chance to raid them because they were never on at the same time as me. So I want to raid them, if that's OK with everyone. They're playing a game called The Universe Sim. I have no idea what that is, but it looks pretty chill. So, might be the same vibe. They're wearing a big pirate hat, which is also quite good. I like that. Um, yeah, they're lovely. Give them a follow. We'll raid them right now. All right. Let's do it. You ready? Here we go. Um, I don't do raid messages and stuff like that for the most part. So, just say hi. Or say nice hat or something like that. It is a nice hat. It's like a big pirate hat thing. Just, yeah, be nice. Uh, don't be an ass. If you are an ass, and people have been an ass before when I've done a raid, um, I will ban you because. Why? It reflects badly on me, you know? But no, none of you will be an ass. It'll be fine. Thanks for being here. Um, that was just one person that did it a while ago. It was very weird. Um, yeah. Thanks. Uh, take care. I'll be on tomorrow, normal time. So somewhere between 10 and 11. UK time in the morning ish around then until about four. So if you're free during any of that time, um, if you're like working from home or you can, you know, or you're not and you just want to watch, um, feel free to pop in. It'd be lovely to have you in. Take care. Have a good evening. Um, it's 11 a.m. for you now. Oh, wow. You've been up early on a Sunday as well. Have a great rest of your day, Sakura. And everyone, have a great rest of your day. Take care. Um, I need to press the ending button, sorry. <laughs> Pro streamer.